saying it. Um, the whole like gotta be responsible streamer, gotta gotta play what people come to watch, yada yada yada. Um, so we'll see with that. Now, once we finish with this mantle, the next thing I'm going to do is I haven't decided. The things I am considering is the uh, product zomboid roleplay because I know I know some people are expecting me to hop on. I feel it's one of those things. Part of me wants to do that, and part of me wants to do more pi my time at Porsche. Because I actually had a really good time with my time at Porsche, but I also don't want to get into the thing where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll totally be there. Well, I was slightly interested in something else more, so... Um, so I feel like I really should do the RP thing, but I also want to try more of my time at Porsche. What I, what I think I need to do with my time at Porsche um, is because I know that is a game that is not going to have good viewership on the channel. That's just... Well, I mean, I shouldn't say viewership on the channel. Um, is it me, or you can't hear anything? Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. That's on me. Um, you should be able to hear the microphone. You should be able to hear the music. And now you can hear the same. The sound. Um, Teresia was correct. I actually had the game sound muted by accident. Uh, so where you should have heard that door, you wouldn't have heard the door. Um, what was he even doing? Alright, so we need to find the tablets, the tall leaves, the unnatural energy signals, the King's Log. That's what I need to be working on right now, is the King's Log. There is one log somewhere. Does it show me on the map? Probably not. Alright, so there's five logs. We have one here. Personal audio log about the timeline of all of this. I've roughly pieced it together. The crash, the ivory man, and the pestilence. The pyramid, Abbey. After that, everything is clear. My rain, the shelter, and the escape. But a lot of questions still remain. How much do I dare stray from my path? Or do I even have a say in this? Personal audio log about death. I've had plenty of time to contemplate death. I don't understand why I am the way I am, but I'm starting to learn the rules. I don't know if I can truly die, but I do bleed like everyone. Oh, I was hoping I could die. It's only dark tab out to type. And then I feel the flame. I don't need to eat or sleep, yet I enjoy both. I always carry the pills with me, though. Not repeating that mistake ever again. Yeah, the thing, the things that would stand out for me as to why someone can't hear, and obviously they won't be able to hear me say this, so if someone could relay it. Is it just going to keep giving me the key? Okay. Um, is one, you can just try refreshing the browser. The two is up at the top. There's a mute icon on the tab. That can be another thing. Or also, if you go to the window that the video is in, there's a mute on the bottom left. Um, or maybe not even muted, just turn so low that it might as well be muted. Alright. So that's three of the audio logs. I, I swear there's another one in here, right? We found four of the five. Um, but so I could relay that, because it'd be a bit much for me to try and type out while running around. Yeah, we already listened to that one. That's the first we listened to. But yeah, so we'll see if any of that helps. Alright, let's turn that back on. Since we're not listening to audio logs, let me guess we're going to find them the moment I do that. Alright, so we did find the launch key for use inside the base. Now, didn't we get a shortcut? Yeah, we got a shortcut there. Um, so that's where I want to go next, is up to that shortcut. Ah, switch to Chrome? Gotcha. Yeah, whatever browser you may have been in, more than likely, because there's like three places you can mute it in the browser, there's the top tab part, um, there's like on the display window, I believe it's bottom left, there's a place you can mute and adjust the volume like on the video itself. 
Um, so there's just like a lot of places you can do it. You can also have um, your browser's audio settings in Windows or whatever operating system you're using uh, could be set the wrong device. There's just a lot of ways. Um, all right, so we did get the key. That's in our audio log, so I'm going to mute the music again so we can actually hear it. Personal audio log about reminders. During my refuge, I will lose grip of reality. I need to find a way to remind myself of what's important. Something I can't destroy even when my mind goes to dark places. Something I can't reach until I've regained myself. The latest iteration of the voice synth is good enough. The automated broadcasts will start immediately. Okay. So, well, I'm trying to actually leave that for a moment. So we got the key I need to get into the next area. Alright, there's nothing else here. Yeah, so I didn't find the last one. It could just be we find it later. Um, I am going by the theory still that we have, um... That we are... That's not actually where I want to be, is it? So what I'm looking for... Yeah, now that's where, now where I want to be. Um... There's a link tower up there. There's a crown entrance. Where was that launch pad? Oh, it's down there. Oh, okay. I wanted to be back there. That's right. Fast travel back here. All right. But yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get that stretch and everything. So basically what we're doing now is we've got the launch pad key and everything. Um, so we are what I believe is like right up near the end of the game. Um, and I've mentioned before, the DLC, if I'm going to play the play through the whole DLCs and all that, depends. Because I, I understand the DLCs are actually a lot of content. Like, that's a good thing. But um, it kind of depends on viewership. It is It is kind of a jokingly curse on the channel that um if I play the same game for any real length of time viewership dips versus I bounce between games it doesn't uh so we're gonna see all that means like if if the viewership is dipping to the point it doesn't hey wait a second interesting um okay hear me out Oh, I must have just been banging the uh, thing over there. Let's just check. Yeah, I was just banging the thing over there. I was like, wait a second, can I just smash this door in and check out whatever this is? But, um, but it's one of those things that as a content creator, when I'm doing this full time, I do have to, like, be mindful of that stuff. Just kill a new sense. I have them so they stay dead, so let's go ahead and do that. Not the way I need to go, but I just wanted to clear that route real fast. Oh, actually, we'll check the buildings real fast here. We still have one more audio log to listen to. You are very dangerous there. Alright, SP Far. You have a good one. Okay. I just didn't want to get in that close quarters with him because if he would have caught me with those explosions, I would have gotten shotgunned by the whole set. And that would have been us dead. Let's see, I get in your stream when I have time. Um, it works out good to listen to watch then. Yeah, that's what most people do, I'd say. By, by and large, it's not even like by accident. It's a deliberate decision. I've tried to cater the stream such that you know, for people popping in, it's a really good stream for lurking in. 
it's the reasons why I don't do a whole bunch of like sound effects, like screams and jump scares and you know a whole bunch of stuff. And that's not like a negative to anyone who does that. You know, you gotta cater for different folks and whatnot. Um, and there's definitely more monetization opportunities with all that kind of nonsense. Um, but I do try and cater for people who are just trying to like chill, have a relaxing evening, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm trying to remember. Personal audio log about honesty. I know I haven't been completely honest. I know I may have lied ooh, here, ooh, 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 ooh. there. It bothers me. But certain things need to happen in a certain order. I can't risk it. We all do what we must just to survive. Just to exist. All right. I'm fully expecting. We only have one more of those audio logs. Oh, good. Bonfire. We only have one more of those audio logs left. Um, and I'm only stopping to play the music because the guy kind of kind of mumbles a little. Not mumbles. He's got a very soft-spoken voice, so it can be a little hard to hear. Versus the game otherwise just decides just not music. Oh, you don't like stairs? That's fine, I can work with that. This is probably the last audio log. Stop targeting the one below! I get it, you want to really kill that one. I understand. But that's not what I need right now. Alright. So last audio log. Personal audio log about mana. Mana is extremely valuable. We must not lose this knowledge. I can't wait to share it with the rest of the world. But we need to overcome the pestilence first. How can I fix this? Or can I even fix this? Are we doomed each time? I've got to keep trying. This is frustrating. Makes me want to break things. Okay. All right. So we got our, our background of the king. And he's like, we cannot leave mana behind. It's too awesome. Um. So now wants me to collect a bunch of mana. A bunch of mana. Okay. Um. All right, how much do you want me to collect? So you want to collect me three more beads, which I'll find, two shards, five chunks, and then three orbs. Those orbs are a steep price. Well, until we have the orbs, I'm not going to worry about paying it. Let's first run around and make sure it's not just a bunch of mantling and, like, boxes or whatever around here. There's another door here we don't have an opening for. Hey, Allie, how's it going? I'm uh, I'm doing well myself. We got to our escape pod. Yep, I actually thought we might be finishing the game like right this second, but um, then my character's like, no, I can't leave without more mana. I need more mana. I must bring the mana with me. There was some cold shivering in the middle of it. Not really. I'm overstating it. Basically, they're like, mana's too important. We need to bring it with us. So I'm supposed to collect some mana. Uh, most of this won't be uh, that hard to get a hold of. The the three blue eye orbs are going to be the one that actually hurt. Uh, the mana chunks I might already have? Alright, come on. Come around. Stop throwing them at me. Just come around here. Those little ones will be very easy to get a hold of. I just gotta kill a couple things. Got another bunker entrance. 
I have a feeling what I'm going to need to do is run around in the bunker down below um, to get those blue eye orbs and all that knocked out. Um, the other thing we can do is try and um, go to the various zones and see what it can actually make happen with the uh, thing where I can detect enemies, look for the boss enemies that can drop stuff. Alright. All right, so we got a whole bunch there. All right, so I've got three. I still need more than that. That's fine. Okay, this bunch here will do it. And you need a unit of corn. Trying to see if there's any tablets out here. I assume we can't break this. Not yet. Okay, so let's get back up there, turn in the mana baubles, whatever these things are called. Mana beads, that's right. Okay. Because I might already have the shards, I might already have the mana chunks, and if I don't have the mana chunks, I can make them pretty easily. Oop. Dig spot. Oh, right. Um, I have my shovel unequipped. Honestly, get out of here for a minute, Axe. Would you move? Okay, well... That makes that a bit easier. Let's deal with this first. All right. I don't really understand the point of this spot down here. It could be when I'm strong enough to break those pipes, it'll open up a new route for me to run. So that deer, if you didn't catch what just happened there, just uh, hucked itself in the river and drowned. The, uh, the stress just got a little bit too much to it. I was like, nope, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I'm out. Forget it. Don't want it. Absolutely not. Alright, so up here was to get back up. Um, so we got a room back there I need to try unlocking. Gotta watch out, I almost ran off that twice now. There's a little hole in that catwalk back there. Alright, so that should be a bunch of these. Yep, so we're down to the mana chunk and the mana orbs already. That took about two seconds to get there. Wait, is there no campfire here? I just didn't even think about that, that there is a place to store stuff, but no campfire itself. Interesting. I think that's the first time we've had that. It's fine, it's just... When I saw a box, I was like, wait a second. Hang on, wait a tick. Um, so up here... I saw there's an area we hadn't been to quite yet. Tag this campfire. Um, is there new gear to invent that I care about? No. Is there gear to upgrade I care about? Not really. 
I mean, at this point, I guess I feel pretty okay just burning the mana shards. Then I can take those off the list. All right. Start clearing out this area. with that in a moment. Oh, I didn't think you had that range. Alright, self, do not run at the big guy up there. The big guy up there is not alone. Oh, did you open that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so the big guy over here, I want to bait him out because there's a, um... Well, that works too. Alright, so I need to deal with that sentry gun. I don't know if I could shoot uphill or not. I hope we can. Okay, we can. Cool. I wasn't really confident on that one. I really wish it would target the other one. That's fine. We're okay. Alright. Okay, we're clearing out this area. We're not finding all that many good resources. I mean, if I clear this area out, I'm going to get tons and tons and tons of stuff like steel and all that. Um, which is fantastic for if I end up needing it. I'm not sure we will. Um, I'm guessing we'll end up finding more equipment. Alright, one thing I should probably do. Oh, I should probably put on here. Um, all right, you get out of here, get this in place. Let's see if we can see any boss enemies. Okay, so there's two boss enemies over there, and there's a third one there. I think that's literally all the eye orbs I need, so I need to get down there. Um, the one problem is I can't go from this route. Let's, let's see here. So, I don't see a ramp over here anywhere. Or on this side. Um, so let's try going this way. There's a ramp. It looks like, nah, maybe, maybe not a ramp here. Maybe not a, or a ramp there. Stop doing that. Yeah, because we came in... We came in from there. What I'm trying to do is find a way down elevation-wise. So let's check Let's check that spot over there. There might be a ramp there. I'm not confident in that. But um, it is the only place that there's like a tree obstructing it or whatever that I can't see what the situation is. Because um, that's what we're looking for right now. Hey, that's my job to shoot Bambi. Oh, 
Oh, you know what it probably is? We probably just need to go back underground. That's what we need to do. Um, where we were underground earlier. There's a bunch of doors and paths we couldn't get through. That that key might give me what I need to get to them. Uh, rolled too late. All right. I'm gonna need you to come down here, buddy. The little corner you got there is not a place for me to fight you. So the question is, if I go back down here now, with the relay setup, will I be able to clear the enemies down here? Oh right, they were just kind of staying dead to begin with, weren't they? Um, alright, so this is the place I want to explore. Just because, um, there's a bunch of those different ways out that I couldn't get at before. Hey, War Crimes, how's it going? So we went that way. That's yeah, a western entrance. We couldn't go through that bridge. Is there another way around? We have areas down here I didn't check. I did notice the enemies respawned after I left the area, so it may not be that they're staying clear. It might be just there's a mechanic that, um... Yeah, there's a mechanic just that if I come to the door, they don't... They remove the enemies from the door just so I don't, like, load in and die instantly. Or no, it was after I hit the bonfire, wasn't it? Um... Hmm... I don't know if this actually goes where I want to or not. There's nothing on that end. We did not explore this way, I don't believe. Okay. Oh, boss enemy. The Toxic Destroyer. I don't like that he's one of those. The step one is to get the heck away from him before he kills me. wasn't smooth, but he is dead, so I mean, a win's a win. Alright. Interestingly enough, there's a door up there, but I don't think it's going to open for us like this. Now granted, not all these doors might be real. Alright, so I can't hit the door is the important thing. That tells me not to bother running up to it with different tools and seeing what I can do. I 
Okay, so we've got all that sorted on there. Does this thing work down here? Okay, so there's no more enemies down here marked as boss enemies. I do see there's enemies over here we haven't seen, and then there's a path down there we haven't seen. So those will be the two places we're going to check for more enemies. I do appreciate that that works, even though I don't have a relay or whatever it's called set up. Don't touch the fire, but I will touch that. Because the enemies don't stay dead. Alright, so I can't climb back up there. Oh, can I open this door, by the way? Okay. Hey, um, I don't really want that to open directly into this. Okay, they're not going to stay dead, are they? Okay, is there anything I care about down here? No. We sound pleased, so let's, um... Alright, no boss enemies, so you won't worry about that. Okay. But the good news is that door's open, so we got a path through there now. Let's check down here. I got out of those boxes. You're getting a bunch of nice materials, but nothing I care about really. A big part of that is just, we've gotten to a point in the game, there's not a lot. So we can't go that way, that's right. So, is there a way around over here? Yeah, I think there was. Right, I believe I have to go all the way around over here, then scooch back that way. That's fine. That's what this was, was a shortcut back and forth. Alright. I guess at no point can I ever actually fully clear this place if there's no array for it. Which I don't necessarily see as a bad thing. So it's down this way was the one we hadn't checked, I believe to the left. Either to the left or down there. Expecting that to finish it off in one. Let's check real fast with this. Okay. So tunnel is down to the right.
Or I can just go to the right immediately. That works too. We have a dig spot. There's the mana chunks. Okay, we can't go up here. That's fine. Gonna top off our health just in case. Please stop. Ooh, that was not something I liked at all. Alright, well, we're not doing great down here at all. We're surviving, but getting hurt a lot more than we should be. This was... Oh, there's another dig spot. I deserve this. Just pulling up some really nice titanium. He's like, yep, I deserve this. I've earned this. Give this to me. More mana chunks. We definitely have enough mana chunks to just turn those in. I'm not going to run the whole way back unless there's like a really convenient teleport. Um, I'll just pay the XP. Okay, let's check again. Is there areas I have not seen? Uh, maybe down this way. Yes, yeah, so there might not actually be another door out of here. There's heavy implications there was multiple doors, but... Oh. I'll, I'll drop it off, it's fine. We'll pay the XP when we get it back. I'm pretty sure we've checked everything. It looks like there's just a door out to the left and the right, nowhere else. Which to me implies that there might be other bunkers to check out. I'll check straight to the left, make sure there's nothing back here. That's definitely a dead end. Yeah, it's just dead end. Okay. Well, I still want to tag that one. Um, Go back up here, we can fast travel out. All right. Like I'm looking at like all the steel and all that. I was like, man, I remember when it was like I'd see a lead, like the lead pipes or whatever, to be like, oh, gotta get that right now. I really need that metal. Um, and they're like, yeah, if I feel like it. I'll, it's fine. Like eventually, I'll probably want to destroy almost everything. For now, there's just no need to. Alright. 
So, we want to hit the nearest bonfire, because up here they stay dead. And I'd like to top off my supplies. Um, what we're looking for is a way to the right side of this region, because there was three boss enemies over there who can give me the orbs I need. But, um... Yeah, so that was where I marked over there is... Yeah, so there could be a hole there. Um, otherwise I don't see a good spot. Um, the enemies are all down in this area. It's hard to tell what the situation is there. Um, I don't see a reasonable way to get that from any other angle. Okay, that might be a possibility down there. We can get through one of those two gates. We'll have to check that out. First, we'll check where that question mark is I placed there, because I don't really see any other places that I could drop down. It's also possible I just drop down, like, accept the damage drop down. Um, because it depends on how high it is. Alright, so it's straight up just a wall there. There might be a ramp. I do know that drop is absolutely unquestionably fatal. Like, it seems to be like two elevation, whatever the units are, like two voxel worth of elevation I can drop and survive. And that's like five. And anything more than that, it's not like you even like take slight damage, just kind of fall and your character just dies. I got one up here. I'm also just killing any enemies I see, because as far as I'm concerned, if I see enemies there, it's a possibility I haven't explored it. All right. Okay, we've got that. I haven't seen a way to get around that wall, though. Yeah, because that doesn't go far enough. I'm half expecting one of these kind of things to be the way I'll get to it. Just kind of like scooch around. We have that big crack in the ground that we explored earlier. I remember what was on the other side of this vaguely remember going around. There's just one dog back there, I guess. Okay, sure, why not? Um, Alright, and the way I got up here was to the left. Granted, going higher isn't the way I'd expect to go to get where I want to be, but that's fine. Oh, it's the lift thing. That's interesting. That wasn't there the last time we rolled through. Yes, this takes me down to the launch pad. I don't think I saw any ways I could get out of here. 
to go anywhere meaningful. Alright, so I can't go around there. I'll fall in the hole and just die. Maybe over here. That'd be a nope. Alright, that's what I pretty much expected. It's one of those things that if I could get from this way the other way, there's a good chance you get the reverse, other than if I have to drop off a ledge or something. And nothing up there, that's fine. So that's not it. There was... This round here. I figured this would be too tough. Okay, we have... Wherever the heck this is. It was just a cert, like a wall plate with a computer on. Alright, well nothing here. I guess we go down here now. That led down to this thing, but was there another way I could go when I got down here? Like, did I keep running to the right? No. That'd be death. Okay. Because that's all I'm trying to do now, is see if I can't find a way to a lower elevation to the right. Or if it's an elevation I could reasonably drop, I'm also willing to do. Um, but right now it's still at like 4 or 5 elevation no matter what cliff I'm looking at. If we had like a ramp that didn't quite get all the way up here, but got most of the way up here, that'd be good enough for me. All right, yeah. So that's that's all bust. We're going to uh, we're just gonna fast travel back, as opposed to riding the whole way around. Um, hey, CK Hawk. I'm actually gonna take two seconds. I need to use the restroom real fast. So sorry about like the really early stream. You know, quick two second break. Um, I'll trigger the ad right away during this because it's about to happen in like nine minutes, anyways. Um, so I'm gonna quickly do that and I'll be right back. So my apologies for that. Just. What is? While you're gone to the stretches? Yeah, I can do that. So my apologies for that. So I'm going to run that. I'll be right back. And thank you again for everyone who's been tuning in, who's been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, donos, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. And do hope you're enjoying the stream. Okay. Um, and Cookie popping in doing the cookie stream now thing. So let me mark these as done. Okay, and we'll get those. Oh, that's fine. We're, we're running around. It's fine. Oh, let's upgrade some tools and all that. Um, like, if it was a thing that we're getting ready to go into some story or all that, I'd definitely, like, pause the stream or whatever, but... Am I out of scrap wood? 
Okay, so apparently I'm out of scrap wood, which is a curiosity. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our gear. Oh, let's unmark that. Alright, so. There are zero enemies left here. We're not fast traveling back that way. But what we're going to be looking for is anywhere we can find boss enemies. Or doors that are locked, or places we think we can get to. So we still haven't figured out how to teleport. Oh! That tomb is not being marked as done. Alright, well, let's go check that tomb out. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Let's check in this one. Oh, was this the one that's like the actual like underground area? No, that's just a tomb. Oh, hey, hey, okay, I, I understand. All right, so I get this. I need to run in this such that I can push the button to do these things. So it's going to be probably run in and run out, tag it, or run out and then run and push it. You get the idea. All right, so let's see if we can make this happen. I was too slow. I got snagged in the wall there for a moment. Well, actually, those timers don't start to this, so... Let's do this. Hit that. Run out. Run in. Hit that. Run out. Run in. Hit you. Hit you. Run out. And over here. And that's one orb. Out of the three I need. It didn't like reveal the tombs, did I? Like that must like that was just one I like I found earlier and I didn't do for some reason. No, I'm not seeing any others on there that I haven't already done, that is. I'm just double checking, make sure I didn't find any that I walked by. And didn't actually investigate. Or tablets, either or. So I still have this whole region on the bottom left I didn't do. Um, I've got a mini quest down there I didn't do. Um, that's fine. Let's check here. Are oh, still in Carnival? Yeah. So basically what we're doing right now is I'm running around um, trying to find either the the wall plates or whatever they are to uh, to allow me to advance, uh, get the blue orbs, um, or the other thing. I am curious if this does finish the game. Is it going to be one of those games where you finish and then you just reopen the save file and it takes you to a second before you left? Kind of thing. Stop playing the music oh right um there's nothing in this region so since I've been in here will I be able to go through this or will this still just be open or sorry not open closed Alright, so yeah. That's just blocked off, and I don't have a way in there yet that I've been able to find. There probably is one. Okay, so yeah, that's in that zone. 
What was the question mark in the street? Those are stuff like hints. Uh, that was the beginning area when you first start the game I just ran through. Yeah, so unfortunately, I had to go in the entrance here to pop out up there. I might be able to get in down from this side. Um, so if we go to Underfield. We can check to see if I can't go through here. Because again, that would that would give me three more of those uh those orbs, and I only need two more. Since we found that um that template missed. Uh let's go ahead though, since we're down here, we're gonna run down this way. And just see if we can't. We got a bunch of enemies all there. But no skulls. Let's go ahead and check down the enemies up here over there, though. Because again, just in case there's one of the um relic plates or temples or whatever. Because it seemed to like to tuck them into these side areas a whole bunch. Um, is it three? Is this one of those areas you gotta teleport up top? Oh no, there's a gap over here. I'm not trying to full clear the enemies, I'm just using the enemies as a possible signifier as a place to check. Um, there's an area down there we haven't looked. I got walls over here. Okay, we got another one of these. There's your tower. There's the one enemy we missed. Check just in a moment. I got one spot over here we haven't looked. All right. So the next place to check is we got an area southeast of us we haven't looked. Um, do we want to try this thing now? Because we're way better kitted than we were. I think I'm able to build four, um, four of the, uh, that's not what I want. Four of these things now. So they're going to come from there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can make this work. Um, defenses, guns. Oh, I don't have nearly enough materials. Oh, that sucks. Never mind, we won't do it. I don't have enough materials to make one because I'm out of the metal. Uh, what was he even having there? There we go. I assume this isn't going to open up where I can just run down here, right? Oh, no, I can actually run through. There's an unexplored house next to you. I mean, I ran through a house over here. There's the area over there I haven't looked. That's all cliffside, so I'm not going to be able to get down there. I mean, the roadside house? No, I've been through there. A lot of these areas I have already checked out, but I missed spots. And so I'm just checking to make sure there's not one of the tablets or one of the um ancient ruins. Like that's what I'm doing right now, is just trying to get those last two orbs I need. Because once I get those, I should, in theory, be able to put it all on the ship and leave. Oh. Alright, next up is... So we still have another area down here. We haven't looked.
Most ones like this, where it's just like one little spot, I'm not expecting to find anything, for the record. Alright, we got one more enemy over here by this well. There's a big cluster of enemies over here that I've missed. So a big cluster of enemies has possibilities of having something worthwhile. Yeah, I think down here? No, just dead end. Yeah, so it's a cluster of enemies here. Let's see if I can't find a way up. It could be ways ones where I find a spot that I would teleport up, but as of yet, I have yet to figure out how to teleport. I got a quest, like, right at the beginning of the game. It's like, investigate those things. It's like, well, never quite did it. Yeah, so there's the first of the enemies up there. Yeah, it's really high up, so I'm kind of expecting it to be a teleport situation. It's a big cliffside, so if I can find a way up anywhere, it'll take me a long way. Wasn't that a ramp? Um, I didn't see a ramp. I mean, there was a ramp going up this way, but I need to go to this side. But I have not seen a ramp, no. Oh, there's lots of indentations. This is going to be what is here. Right there. That's how we get in, because I haven't explored this whole area. Yeah, so that's how I get in there right there, is that, that, that gap right there. They've killed all the enemies in this zone, so... We just need to cross back into the other zone again. Okay. I'd be disappointed if it's just one of these boxes. Oh, come on. Alright, we've killed everything in this zone as well. Zone is full cleared. Yeah, no, it's just one of those boxes. That's disappointing. Alright. So, let's pop over here again. Where is the nearest fast travel? Um, well, actually, this puts me in the bottom right zone as well. Okay, so we've cleared. We've cleared. This zone is clear. That zone is clear. This zone is clear. And I believe that zone is clear. We definitely haven't done the zone to the top there. Um, so. Tag this to drop everything off. Yeah, so this zone down here has got lots of stuff. That one, but we don't know how to get through it. There's probably stuff in this zone. This zone definitely has stuff we haven't done. Yeah, almost all the northern zones we haven't done. And I've got a whole extra zone over here. Actually, I don't see a way you reach that zone. 
they've got I've got that there. There's no bridges here. I'm guessing that's what these are about. One of one of these platforms here will be how we get in there. Okay. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do is teleport us back home rather than run it. Uh, we will quickly get our titanium and all that. Alright. We're also running out of things to upgrade. Now yeah, well, I got a handful of things left to upgrade. That's part of the reason I was like, oh, we've got to be pretty close to the end. Now, I still suspect there's more tools we found. Alright, so... I can just run up here real fast. Because I don't care about full clearing the zones. I was looking for the orbs. So if I toggle this and I immediately see that we have um, enemies, and I know to just... When I say enemies, the boss enemies. I know I just like beeline for those boss enemies. Because those will guarantee me orbs. Okay. So we don't see any boss enemies to speak of. I remember killing one up here. I think like literally right there. Um, almost certainly there's going to be relics in that out here. Um. Do I have this one set up to keep the enemies dead? Alright, we'll find out. If so, we'll start exploring. I do. Alright, that's fine. Go try run through the unexplored parts of the map, kill enemies as we see them. It's a fishing spot there. The things we're looking for is we are looking for the tablets. We're looking for the ruins. We're looking for boss enemies, which we can detect the boss enemies if we don't see them, so we know that's not a thing. Um, random chests and that can sometimes have what we're looking for. Not likely, but it's technically a possibility. Okay, no boss enemies marked in this spot, and we got a bunch of enemies here, so we did cross back into our map, but that's fine. I don't care what zone we're in, as long as we're still discovering new things and maybe figuring out what we're looking for. And if we're killing enemies and they're staying dead, it's gonna help me rule out places by making sure I've run through them to kill the enemies. Alright, come on. Oh, there's the door. You just didn't notice me. Okay, there's one over here. Got a bunch of enemies north of the town. Locked door that we don't have a key for. I totally forgot lockpicks were a thing. It's been so long since I've needed one. Look, I'm not walking around. No one's got time for that.
All right, we'll kill this group over here to the left, and we'll go back to that zone to the north of us. Two more, one over here. And one down here. I think it's in this building somewhere. Nope, slightly after that building. Alright, so no, no dice with any of that. So, now we run north. Actually, is there any place we really need to uncover here? Uh, there's a spot over there. That's just water. Uh, so let's check to the northwest. And it's start working. Hey, Nirda, how's it going? So we just gotta find those last two orbs, and then I think we're done. Did I mention I appreciate that I can just walk up to the box and drop off my entire inventory by pushing one button one time and I don't have to go through a big hassle of trying to figure out what box and what container I'm going to put through? Just got to work and relaxing? Nice. Always a good time. All right, so no ruins or anything over here. I didn't expect to, but you never know. Oh, we got to change our clothes. It's too cold. Um, so... Put on our winter gear. All right. We're dealing with getting rid of all these enemies forever and ever. And exploring all the shadowy places. Alright. It's a shame I don't have the way to the west there where we saw those three boss enemies. But I kind of figure the way there is probably going to be outside that area. Like in our tunnel kind of situation. Nothing there, right? Alright. Um, is that a gap in the mountain? Are you a gap or are you just a cliff? Here's a cliff. Okay, cool. Let's not waste our time out then. Okay. I'm very thankful there's no stamina in this game. At least not for, like, running around or whatever. Because we haven't found any of the tablets or the ruins up here. And I don't know, like, if it's one ruin and one tablet per area or, like, whatever. But it wouldn't surprise me if there's some, like, evenness to the distribution just to force you to check out all regions of the map or a bunch of them kind of thing. So I feel like it's worth taking the time to... Double check. So we've got a gap down here to look at. Nope. Yeah, let's check down here where we have all this dark air with no enemies at it. It's probably mostly cliffs, but... That's right, hide stuff. A rocky passenger traveling seems suspiciously quiet. The perfect place for an ambush. Kill all seven ambushers.
I was intent on doing this way earlier in the game, considering I finished that and I barely had any loss of time there. Alright. So I finished that little side quest event, whatever you want to call it. Uh, are you a gap back here? Nope. Alright. So we got this path over here. We got this middle area to deal with. Okay, there's an opening over here to the right we can cut through. I just gotta get around this hole. All right, we got one of those timer crates. So that cuts through that way. Let's let's pull it up on our map and see which way we want to go. Uh, so we got a path that goes this way. Okay, so it does connect to that, so that's that's fine. That's just a different route. We can go there later. Um, versus all this, there's a good chance, actually, that there might be a ruin. Yeah, let's try and get over there. That that looks like it might be just a flat-out ruin. Or other point of interest, I guess. For those who don't know what's going on right now, um, we have fixed our escape pod, and our character was like, I can't leave without mana. It's too important. Um, even though the mana's done all sorts of terrible things, and, like, the last leader was like, we can absolutely not leave you know, without this mana, and we could also not leave until we solve the whole thing where it causes people to become like zombies. And our character's going, don't care, we're gonna leave with the mana. Alright, yeah, let's run over to this right area. But, um, I have the chunks I need, the mana chunks. I'm just missing two of the mana, uh, uh blue eye orbs, because they're super duper rare. You either have to kill, like, bosses or do temples or stuff like that. So I've got to seek out those things. Ah, oh, that's not actually what I was hoping to find down here. I'm gonna be real. That was actually the one, I mean, I'm still happy I get this thing. But very genuinely, that's not what I was looking for. I am curious when we go into those bunkers, what will like it will find anything meaningful or whatever. I mean, I've, I, there's got to be, right? You go into the bunker and you probably find like rare weapons or lots of rare materials or something like that. No, oh, we got a campfire we didn't find before over there. Check it out here. The problem is I need to get more of the um the steel or whatever. Not steel. Iron ingots. I don't have enough of them to build the turrets. Um, and it is like a tower defense mechanic. So I've got to get more of that. And I just haven't been breaking things because it's not been my my motivation at the moment. Because we went and we stopped to do another one. I was like, oh, I can build one turret. Like I've got enough circuits now for five, but I don't have enough of the other materials. Um, let's go ahead and... Yay, potato salad. Get motivated. Well, right, like, the whole point is, I'm prioritizing. I've got the things I can be working on. There's a whole list of them. And I'm choosing to prioritize on one of them specifically, versus getting distracted by a billion other things to work on. That said, I'm gonna make this recipe. So potato salad, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, four. Yay, damage block. Oh yeah, motivation, you wish you'd be like, be motivated. I'm suddenly motivated. I wish all those things worked the way it's like, just don't be sad. Wow, I never thought of that before. Suddenly I'm not sad. Boy, this has really changed my life. Thank you. If only. If only it was that easy. Alright, so that's where we killed the one boss. Um, We could check along... 
Oh no, so that's there's nothing there. So we we haven't checked this whole area. We haven't checked up here. There's a crate there. There's a little jungle spot there that's interesting. We might find something useful over there. Um there's weird little island up here I can't reach. That is a possibility of having one of the things. Most most of the time you just can't will yourself into motivation. Like the brain has mechanisms in it that says, is this worth my time? And it doesn't matter if it's actually worth your time. That's actually one of the things that um, comes up with stuff like ADHD, for example. Um, that if the reward for whatever behavior you're doing is significantly time delayed or an indirect reward, so like you get a thing that you could then use a thing to get the thing, um, your brain's like, this is worthless. Even though you as a logical person can look at that and say, no, really, it's actually worth a lot. But your brain's like, yep, nope, not giving you not giving you the uh, the enzymes telling you to be motivated. Good luck concentrating, sucka. Um And it's not like it's just not something you will yourself past or I can find those easy. Um alright, one hold please, fountain. Like that's that's the whole thing is going, okay, this isn't motivating me. What can I do to make it so I am motivated to do this? It's not as easy as just, you know, focus more. Or, like, the really kind of bad one that, you know, I grew up with, like, you just don't apply yourself as much. Like, uh, um. And the worst thing is, you're like, you, know, you internalize that crap, and you actually feel like, it's like, why why can't I just focus? I don't understand. Oh, it's just not how it works. Alright, um, hopefully I can get more of the wood from this. Oh good, I did find one. I thought they were gonna give me wood. Now don't get me wrong, I do agree like being in a funk, your headspace can keep you in a funk kind of thing. Um like that is a thing. But it's not that. Fear is hell of over here. Right. But I would also argue fear is not necessarily the healthiest long term solution. Um, because I feel like, you know, to keep the persistent amount of motivation through fear, um, is opening up a whole new basket of problems. You're you're trading a lack of motivation for a whole lot of other things, that maybe the lack of the motivation is the lesser of evils in the in this scenario. Yeah. The only, the only reason I'm pushing that is, like, the whole, and this is more of a yesteryear kind of thing, the whole thing of, like, you just don't apply yourself, or, you know, if you just focused more, or if you just were more diligent, like, you know, those kind of things, like, okay, I get what you're saying, but, like, no, there's, there's more to this equation than that. Like, there's reasons people are and are not motivated. And that's kind of the thing of addressing those lack of motivation. Like, it can be like the cost or word kind of thing. Did I actually listen to this one? Let's just do it. Be kind to your neighbor. We are all in this together. All misbehavior will be severely punished. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Yep. Um, and let's see. Because I find that right now, I feel like useless in the brain is keeping me from doing anything because of it. Oh, yeah, your brain will 100%. Like, I, I was joking about this the other day. It's like, I am super sleepy. I need to sleep. And my brain is like, how about we dissect everything that is meaningless and doesn't matter? How about we get into why there's that plot hole in Star Wars? Or what was and wasn't satisfactory about the ending of that game? It's like, brain, you are the one who is actively being like, I am super tired and I need to sleep. And also the thing that is keeping me from accomplishing that task. Like, I want this, I'm trying to work on it, and you won't shut up. 
but like motivation can be the same thing that the the thing that's sucking the motivation out of you also is kind of preventing you from being able to find the motivation to deal with the thing that's sucking the motivation out of you. Um, and it's a whole big thing. Like, that's that's the whole thing with, like, depression, where people think depression equals sadness. It's like, well, no, depression is, like, someone just took the batteries out of you and said, figure it out. And then trying to somehow be a functional person while, you know, you're running on E the entire time. Um, let's see. Personally, I find motivation comes from action. I force myself to do something and usually motivated to do more. A lot of people don't do something until they find motivation. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a balance. Like, sometimes you can force yourself into doing something, and, like, once you get over that hump, it's not too bad. It's like the, it's the classic, the hardest part of going to the gym is actually getting to the gym. Like, once you're at the gym, you're kind of, you're kind of there. It's not as hard to, to find the motivation to do your workout. It's, it's the act of getting in the car and driving there and doing the thing that, like, you have to find the motivation to accomplish that task. Like, I'd even say once you manage to get yourself to the car and start the engine, you're probably, like, 90% of the way to the motivation to accomplishing it. It's that first, that first bump that's the, the killer. Um, and people just be like, well, just, just do it. And, and I don't disagree but it's not always that easy. Because, like, very genuinely, you'll be trying, and it's almost like someone's just sapping your energy the entire step of the way. Like, your body is actively trying to pull you from doing the thing. And sure, you can will yourself to do it for a while, but the more and more you're doing that, the less and less energy you have to do that in the future. You gotta, you gotta figure out why you're not motivated and try and figure out a way of tackling that end. And there can be a whole a whole litany of causes. Some that are easy to deal with and some that are very not. Cause like doing chores around the house, it's the same kind of thing with me. Like finding the motivation to do them can be very difficult. But once once I start, I'm golden and I will I will get pretty much everything done. It's just getting getting into the headspace like, all right, we are working on this. This is what we're actively doing right now. And usually it comes down to a point that they've reached a point that they're actively annoying me. So the annoyance against me is the motivation that gets me to actually do it. Um, when it's something I can kind of just ignore, then the motivation isn't there to just do it as preventive maintenance, even though I objectively know doing that will make my life easier. Like, logically, I can look and be like, doing this now is the correct decision. But the brain is like, nah, uh It might be right, but I don't wanna. Well, oh, there's a bridge over here. I was gonna say, it's like, well, that's annoying. <laughs> Enemy I can't reach. All right. Um, I didn't fold it, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean progress is progress. Um, out of that, I was like, bet let's do some dishes. Oh, well, that's um, yeah. That's usually how when I get in those productive pushes, how they end is I will start being productive, and I'll either get in the weeds on something that I'll be like, there has to be a better way to do this. And so I'll start trying to, like, find information of different ways I could be doing that, be more productive and efficient. And then I'll spend all my time doing that versus actually doing the thing and getting it done. But, you know, there's a certain, there's a certain merit in going, okay, this task sucks, what can I do to make it suck less? There's absolutely value in doing that homework, but, you know, there's a certain point of, also, just do it. <laughs> The whole, if this is going to take me half an hour, or I could spend two hours to figure out a way to do it in 25 minutes, you know, and that's only a maybe find a way. Some tasks just take the time they take. You're making popcorn, I haven't eaten nearly 16 hours, and this is difficult. Ooh, that's rough. I mean, also, don't be afraid to seek out others. This is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, don't be afraid to, like, seek out from help from others. Like, don't, like, that's not a sign of weakness. Like, you, you, you're the one who has to live with you. 
you know, if you're going to just not like, who gives a crap what anyone else thinks? Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. All right. So that does the front two. That trades the back two back and forth. And done. It's a sign, yeah, I agree. It's a sign of strength to say, this is something that I need help with. Because the person who cannot recognize, I'm not gonna say weakness, that's not the word I wanna use, the places that they need a little extra help with, um, that is absolutely a thing that you're just you're just working against yourself. Because you could have that, you know, conversation with the appropriate person or whomever who could help you out. And maybe it takes you a good four or five people to find someone who works, like whatever whatever it ends up being. But you could find that assistance to get you where you need. Um, or you could just not get the progress you need fighting with yourself because of pride. Alright, so we got the Magma Anomaly. I want to check up there. I don't expect to find anything since we found these ruins up here. Let's see. Oh, so no, I can't um do... Let's see. Do really need to help me at the moment? Um, also, my partner is really busy with the child, so it's kind of treading in the moment. Yeah, that's a whole other can of worms. The availability of help in a means that you can actually make happen. Um... To me, that is that is a major failing on like society that people can be, be like, this is something I need, but I can't have it, despite, you know, working and doing all this other stuff, like it's just not available. Or even as like, okay, I, I'm, I'm struggling to do my job because of this thing, but I also can't get the thing to help me through the things so I could do better at my job. It's like, well, why wouldn't we just help this person? <laughs> like... We have the availability of the resources. Um, there is a certain degree of that, Hawk. Like, especially down where I'm at in Florida. Um, I've had stuff that I'm like, this is something that I need help with. Like, I was having digestive problems, and the person's response was basically like, toughen up, buttercup. And it's like, no. No, this is like, this is not an okay thing. This isn't me whining because I've got like, some boo-boo. Like, I'm having a problem, it's consistent and it's chronic, like, I at least, if the answer is I have to toughen up because there's nothing that can be done, that, you know, it is what it is, but like, I'd at least like to be able to have a name for the thing that is causing me problems. So like, toughen up Buttercup, I'm, you know, borderline offended by the fact that you would think as a medical professional that is a reasonable response to someone who's coming to you saying, hey, I have something that is not working the way it is supposed to be. I would like to figure this out. Like, it's quite literally your job to help me with this. Oh, sweet. We're just going to immediately find another one? Alright, perfect. And for that matter, it also, like, it goes the other way as well. Like, women, when it comes to pain, are often ignored as well. Oh, yeah, no, that, that doctor I effectively fired. The moment, the moment, the moment a doctor is like, toughen up Buttercup, I'm like, all right, well, I'm done seeing you. Get out of here. I've only had one doctor that, by the way, so it's a very short list. I didn't think that through. Um, yeah, I think the worst I've ever had is, um, I'm allergic to penicillin. Like, don't, absolutely no-no. Okay, well, that's a nightmare. Okay, so it opens up here. Too slow. Time mental issues, whether stress, depression. Yeah, that too. But like, I, I have, like, I'm allergic to penicillin. I don't know how bad it is now because I haven't been exposed to it since I was a kid. But as, as a kid, I believe the term is anaphylactic, um, which is where. You know, you get exposed to it, and then your throat closes up, and you would die without immediate medical intervention. Um, and I went to, I believe it was an orthodontist? And, 
like it's on my record and they ask every single time you go it's like what allergies do you have or whatever it's like yeah don't don't give me penicillin because about the only place we still use penicillin nowadays is very rarely in dental there's i can't remember what it is there's a very specific thing that responds well to penicillin um and they prescribed it. and i'm like look you're not getting paid and you're lucky i don't sue you because if i were to take this to the um to the pharmacy and they failed to check it on there which usually they will and they'll be like um i'm not giving this to you i don't care what your doctor said um because i'm not getting sued it's like yeah you basically you know you it's pretty much the same as if you would have like recommended to give me like cyanide or something you're basically murdering me if i take this so you're not getting paid you're lucky i don't sue and i never want to hear from you again um Give me more to get away with it. Yeah. Like, good good doctors are worth paying for and traveling for if you have the means. I I drive entirely too far to see my dentist after having had a bad dentist. And it is worth every in like every mile and every penny. Really bad head wound and healed it up with some glass stuck in it. Went back to the hospital asking them to cut out. Dude tried excuses. They knew her false, they called him out. Yeah. That was, um... I've got a f couple friends who, who work legal stuff, and I, I very rarely lean on them. But there's been, like, once or twice. Like, I've, I've talked about the story with the um, ISP thing, where I got the okey-doke walk around a dozen times. And this is before streaming. Um, that they had like, I can't even tell you how many, it was like, it was like eight or something, it was like, I don't remember, it was just a whole bunch of times that their technician came out, and they replaced the modem, and they had replaced this, and they replaced that, and they'd be like, okay, you should be all square, I'm like, look man, I'm Cisco certified and everything, and if this is what you have to do to go to the next level, fine, but none of this crap is gonna do anything. I just yeeted myself off that cliff, and I didn't mean to. But, um, ow. But eventually it got to the point where I started ping graphing, which is just basically recording, okay, at any given moment of the day, how's my internet? Um, and I put it to my local network, so, like, to my, to my router and all that. I put it to their modem. Um, I put it to the first one of their nodes, which I don't know where the node is actually located. I want to say it's probably, like, Atlanta, Georgia or whatever, just knowing the ISP, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, that's fine. But, um, to there. And then I had, like, one or two that went out to, like, Google and, like, I don't remember. It was, like, Google and Amazon, like, a couple different, couple different places. Where is the spot? You're up more, aren't you? There we go. But, um, and I went through this whole hassle of, like, ping graphing that for weeks. And then I got my friend who works in consumer protection. So, basically... If you bought a product and it exploded on you and you got hurt, would represent you against the company. Or if, you know, if you were sold a product that never once worked and they weren't going to try and refund you or whatever, consumer protection. Here in Florida, we have what's called the Lemon Laws, uh, which basically, if you take something in for repair, the same repair three times in a certain time frame and all that, it's very specific, but basically under very specific circumstances. Um, they're obligated to replace it or refund you. That basically you got a product that was non-functional to begin with. Um, or not reasonably functional. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. And we went in and said, basically, with as much as this was down versus up, um, that legally they would be obligated to prorate me some ridiculous amount of money for effectively providing a service they didn't actually provide that I was paying for. Um, and I'm like, and I could demonstrate that this is affecting at least my entire neighborhood, if not a broader area. Uh, you need to get, like, an actual engineer out here, or you'll be talking to legal on this. Like, you'll be talking, like, legal representation on that. I mean, I didn't say it, the, my friend did. And suddenly they had, like, an engineer who had it properly fixed in, like, 15 minutes. Who came out, and there's, like, a circuit board. Like, there's, um, if you go to, because this was back when I had coax, so, like, cable... Um, so you'd go out to, like, the street, 
And all right, that's right. I need to go to the left. I need to go up here to the left and then down. Um, so you'd have the coax cable that goes out to the street. So what happens is when you do that, it goes from your house out to, it's usually a box. It's like in a plastic container or whatever that they have in the front. That's got like, I don't, I don't know what's under the box, but it's, it's like a hookup to put you on the loop because coax works on a loop system, not like a star topography. It's like you connect to the street, which has a loop. So that way, if like one, like one of those nodes drop, it can knock out the whole chain. Um, which is the big problem with cables specifically. Um, then its upload is atrocious. I hear it's getting better, but I don't know what they've changed with their configuration to accomplish that. But um, they went out there and the circuit board under that little plastic container had gotten damaged by humidity. And the engineer's like, oh yeah, this happens all the time. I'm like, it happens all the time. And you had like eight technicians out of here. Like me having to like threaten you with legal action. I like not mad at the you know engineer. I was very thankful they took care of it. And like, why wouldn't you just, if it's like a routine thing, why would I have to go through all this? Like, why wouldn't this just be one of those things procedurally you just do? Alright, so I need five mana chunks. Like, I get if it's an expensive part that they go, okay, we will do these other things first. Sure, that's perfectly reasonable troubleshooting. Alright. This might technically... Uh-huh. Okay. I see. How much... That is not enough... Do I need steel or iron to build the defenses? That's not what I meant to do, but it's what I did. Alright, um, so let's check here. Alright, so I need more supplies. Like, a lot more supplies. Um, so I'm gonna have to start breaking everything. I want to keep the little barricades in place just for the moment. I have a bad feeling that they're gonna come from these other areas too. And I could be unprepared for that. But... That is what it is. I'm trying to think of what building I could run to real fast to just trash to get a whole bunch of metal. I mean, getting a decent amount from these rails. Oh, you know, there's a lot of railing in this place. I could probably just run around and break the railing. It's not going to be the most efficient way of dealing with this, but it should give me the materials I need. So today I learned if I accidentally hit one of those barrels that's already exploding, because it critted the first one, um, they explode instantly, almost killing me. It does seem like they deliberately put a, a decent amount of materials around us. All 
Okay. Alright, um, so let's try seeing if I can put down more. I don't really know what pattern makes sense, because I'm not really sure what to expect out of this. Yeah, let's drop this off real fast, and we'll start taking apart, mostly focusing on the good metal stuff. Like these railings, um, all that. Um, you're up here. Because I've got enough for five, um, turrets as far as control panels go. The curiosity about this is going to be, is the idea I'm supposed to run around the world, hit all of those defense bunker things and all that to get the supplies I need for that. Or that's just like alternative content to do at the end there. This walkway is going to be so much more dangerous with all these rails busted off. Because I definitely will die if I fall from this high. Like I said, I'm kind of curious if when we um, when we do this, if it's like a lot of these kind of games, I usually find they don't they like when you end, you don't really end. Like either it hand waves the fact that you like won and it just hit you back to like right before you won, um, or they'll have an excuse of why you didn't actually get away. So like we launch off the island, for example, um, but it just explodes and you get the achievement for winning the game or whatever, but then you resurrect here as if you never did it or something. Because the whole point is like, you can break everything. And we still have, like, we definitely have more tool upgrades we can find somewhere. Because there's stuff I can't break that's like, you need more damage to do this. And there'd be no reason for them to have that message unless you can actually achieve that damage. Which I assume that's just side quests or if we went to like later regions on the map or whatever what what am i hitting little tiny piece of fence all right let's see how that does i don't need to like get every bit of material around here i just need enough to build the uh the defenses I want that in there at least enough that I'm getting coverage in the middle area. Okay, so I only need three more of the metal. And then we should be good to go for an attempt to see how this goes. And that'd be three. And we're going on the assumption that that's where all of it's going to come from. Let's put you like that. All right. And I can't build any more. I don't have the means. Uh, let's see what we can put in here for weapons. I'm going to go ahead and put the axe back there just in case. Um, let's take this out of here. We'll put landmines in there. Let's take you out of here. Um, so I'm expecting a bunch of targets. We'll grab the knives. I'm going to, let's 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 keep the bandages. Well no. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep the bandages for right now. I was trying to decide if I wanted the bandages or I wanted just more munitions I can throw at stuff. Just in case. Oh, the other thing I should do is we should switch out our equipment to um the soldier's outfit so I have extra ammunition as well. Alright, um, so any gear I can upgrade? Nope. So let's item an inventory. That's not what I need. 
inventory. Uh, soldier helmet, because it's got the best defense for us. Soldier's outfit, which is here. So I get extra use of my throwables and good defense. Um, let's see. That is running speed. That is our strafing speed. I don't need to be hot or cold right now. I'm probably not going to do much in the way of power attacking here. Let's get the bandolier for extra weapon usage. Um, I don't need to pick up more material. That's melee damage, life drain per hit. Knockback strength might be worthwhile. It's a lot of knockback strength. Um, critical hit chance, dodge roll speed. Let's go with the knockback strength just to see. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can not make this happen. And Amelia gets stuck in a bush. I'm willing to bet there's like a good and a bad ending where if I get all the tablets and I learn about like what actually happened and all that kind of stuff. Um... Then it'll be good. All right. So these guys. Oh, that is way too many got past. not even a little bit close okay um all right well so you see did i get my tier of act for the one they destroyed i'm assuming i got my materials back for that Uh Okay, you do get your materials back. All right. Um so new plan cuz they stopped to destroy that one and then it was very quickly out of the fight. So we definitely don't want to go that route. And I just straight up don't care about all that. So I think what the goal is going to be is the very gen. Oh, I didn't even put down the mines. Um, the goal is going to be to basically put the turrets. I don't even need them on both sides, do I? It's fine. So we're going to try this again before I back off. Probably just use that. Let's go ahead and... Lay out a minefield. Um, I can't pick that back up. That's fine. Okay. I can't, they just run straight at it.
I need way more damage than that. <laughs> Alright, that does not even feel like it's close. Um, okay, so instead, since I have the materials to do this now, instead of doing this here, let's go to one of those bunkers and see what happens if I finish a bunker. Because what it might do is it might reward me in extra materials for doing this, or different turrets, or other tools. Do they count, uh, attack the damage, uh, the concrete barricades? You know, we didn't, um, I didn't even think about walls. Uh, um, they can't build that kind of stuff here. You can't build this kind of stuff here. You can't build... Yeah, so I can't I can't build anything, it seems like, but the defenses themselves. Um, which makes sense, because it'd be too easy to just, like, break the movement AI or whatever. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take that off of here, get the home teleport, and we're going to see what happens when I go to one of those other locations. Okay. So upgrade the shiny piece of metal. The Berserker charm. Oh, um. Get that out of here. Okay. So. What I need to do is run down here um, and see which of those like bunker things we found I can get to the easiest and try doing just one of the regular bunkers um, because that's like the end game thing there so there's a good chance I just need to go like the regular bunker win one of those um, and then go from there to the next one that kind of thing Because I could see a number of things it could do. One is it could give us more blueprints, so instead of the machine gun turrets, I could get something that does area of effect. Because uh, I imagine area of effect in that nonsense is going to be way better. Okay, so where is one of those bunkers? We have one right over here on the other side of Fort Darrow. I don't really have a fast way of getting to it. Got one here. Um, We have... That one's probably... Why are none of these anywhere near the teleport spots? Alright, well we'll start... We'll start with... Start with that one, I think. Um, so you have to go over here, run over that way... Oh. It's probably gonna be terrible either way. Because I don't... Oh, no, actually, that one looks like it's coming from this side. So I might be able to just go from there, run straight east, go north, and to it. Um, we're going to try that, I think. So fast travel. The Everglade. There's no enemies left there. Yeah, so bridge is up here. Okay. Oh, let me guess. It's going to be this one of these ones that requires 10 planks. Pretty... I'm like 90% sure. Oh, never mind. We're just going to go up to Fort Terror right now. That's fine. Otherwise, it's like, I'm pretty sure this one over here to the right is like literally just... I need 10 of the, uh, the really good planks and I don't have those made. Where's the nearest campfire? It's up here. So let's rest at the campfire first. That way, if I do fail, I don't have to run as far. Because there's a good chance in the first attempt I'll fail because I just won't know the path of the enemies or stuff like that. And here I was like, oh, am I already going to finish this? Little did I know the tower defense at the end was going to doom me in.
Because it did seem like when I first, um, those mines did a lot of work. It's just, you know, they kept coming. All right. So here's where this is. My understanding of how this works is the enemies will come from... Actually, check this real fast. All right, so it comes to the other side. Don't make me switch my kit. Okay. So my understanding is the enemies will come from this point and they will follow the roads to attack this. So, what we're going to do is defenses, grab you. I forgot I can't move once I start that. Um, I think they're going to go both paths. Let me guess. Because I have... It's fine. Oh, no, I, just, I do have the mines. All right. So, first up, set up the mines. I'm going to put one right here. And I'm expecting some of them to come along this path. I want the mines to be far enough apart that they don't trigger each other. And that the enemies have a chance to die. It looks like they'll probably take this path as well. We'll go ahead and put another mine over here. Because I'm assuming they'll get close enough that I'll trigger that. Alright, we'll have the grenades to follow that up. Screw you, dear. I just put a mine there. Hey, Infinity Simplex. Here I am putting all to my defense. The deer just like, I choose death. All right. Um. Put that there. Put the one for the ones to get by here. Put that there. We'll see how that works. Because I found if I block the path of them, they could destroy those in seconds. So there's no point in me using that as a real means of slowing it down. I'd much rather hit, have them hit it. Okay. Three waves of enemies coming. Okay, um, can I repair you now? Okay, my own turrets can hit me, which is good news. And you're all good. Let's start whittling away at them. shelter is now available. Alright, so let's see what we get out of this. My hope is that it's something that will help me do future ones of these. Because if that's the case, then I run around and I keep doing these. Hey, JD, how's it going? Nice toys you have there. Yep. All right, so what's down in this place?
New invention, turret ammo expansion. Okay. And curiously enough, we have like a little world down here. Uh, how many enemies are down in this area? Oh, it's not a big area. Okay. Oh, right. I have a ridiculous amount of knockback. Forgot I grabbed that. Could you, could you, all right. Green salad. All right, so yeah, so I need to do these to get what I need to be able to, um... Finish. So we're running around doing these real fast. It's kind of weird after all this time that we're ending on tower defense. Yep, and an extra turret. The good news is once I've done one of these, it seems like it's going to make the other ones easier. If you didn't see, it gave me two more of those things for building turrets. It also gave me um, ammo expansion. Now, I don't know if it's an ammo expansion is a thing I have to build or like an accessory. I don't really know how that fits in. Let's check our inventory. Um, are you just a thing I get? All right, so I don't see it here. It's not there. It's not there. So it might just be a thing that applies. It also might be something I have to make. So it does mean I need to pop around and do these things. So in the immediate, that's what I'm working on. It also looks like they're going to hide recipes and all sorts of other useful things down there. Um, that'll also give me permanent boost to stats. Which does make me curious. We talked about this previously. Um, like, what, what would speedrunning this game even look like? And I imagine it's one of those things that you can keep going through and unlocking more and more of those to get more and more damage and area of effect and all that other stuff to help you. But for a speedrun, I assume it would be the juggle of going, how many and which of these do I need to succeed? Versus how many of which of these can I just not do? That they're just not necessary. So, okay, so it is an extra thing. Oh, and it unlocked several possibilities. An ammo expansion, and I need steel for it, and it gives it 50% more ammo. So we definitely need that. But I need steel for it. All right, that's fine. Um, so first, let's get out of here. And figure out where the next one of those that we can do is. All right. Um, let's see if I can get more steel out of this place. I think I've already tapped this place out, haven't I? Yeah, we've already hit this place for everything it's got. Except maybe these cabinets down here. All right, let's see. Where is a good place that I could probably get just a lot of metal as well? Let's see. So I have another one of those up here. Um, I've got the link tower, and I have to run away, run around that way, or down that way. Let's save that one. We already have that shelter, so I've got the one down here. That's probably this is probably the easiest one because one of the ones you could find earliest in the game. And I'm actually at the waypoint I want for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, just cut across here. We're going to go through the construction site to see if there's anything else we can tear apart.
I'm looking for steel or iron or whatever. Metal. That's all I care about is just basically metal. I think I've already picked this place clean of the good metal. Oh, no, that's that's probably the iron bars there. Oh, no, that's even steel. Cool. And our box down there. Okay. Oh, that dumpster. Dumpster will give us some metal, as well as other things. Did you already tear up the stone and metal fence around the graveyards? Um, I believe a lot of them. I may have missed some. We'll follow the road in case there's any of the power pole. There we go. Power poles that we missed. Do cars get metal? I assume they would, but I'm not able to break cars yet. My my guess is one of these will probably give me a tool that'll let me tear apart cars. Or the beginning of what I need to tear apart cars. Oh, let's actually check to see if I can do the upgrade yet. Two more steel. It is going to cost me one of the things, so basically I'll make one less turret, but all my turrets will have 50% um, more ammo. So it should uh, should more than make up for itself. And that's not kind of the fact that I can probably upgrade that ammo expansion. Near the fire? Yep. Right, that should be enough for the upgrade. Thank you, Pretty Big Oof, for subscribing for 12 months. Rules and Sip. Thank you, Pretty Big Oof, for the T1 sub. You've been subbed for a full heckin' year. A full year, and I really do appreciate that continued support. It does mean a lot. So thank you so much for that continued support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I do hope you're enjoying your advertisement free viewing as well as access to emotes. Okay, so we can upgrade to a titanium turret. We can get sandbags, and the sandbags literally just cost me materials I don't even care about, so we're good there. Alright, so we can make sandbags now as a defensive measure as well. Um, we're going to lock that. That's going to cost us a lot of our ability to make turrets. But the rocket turrets can shoot farther and have an AoE effect, so I think that's definitely a move. Um, Alright, so let's make this happen. Yeah, so it looks like basically in this phase of the game, I need to run all these things and just... You know, upgrade our, our tower defense things. to be able to handle this better. What's interesting with this one, am I only seeing one path? Oh no, it splits here. Interesting. Um, can I remove any of these rocks? No. Do you still have the foundry set up? Yeah, I have to be very careful though. Because I need both, like, they need the lower metals to actually build the turrets, and I need the better metals to upgrade them. So I gotta be careful that I don't, you know, wipe out all my metals on them either. I've got enough here that I can break now, that if it really matters, I could probably just go into some of the areas I didn't bother clearing anything out, and just smash up some buildings and be done with it. Alright, so, let's get this party started. Okay, so I think we're going to get enemies coming around this way and enemies going around the other way. So we're going to do the same basic setup we did last time, which is I'll have one turret covering from this angle, one from that angle, one covering there for anything that gets past, one here, one here. Um, 
I don't know really where to fit the last one. We'll just shove it in there. Oh. Yeah, so right there. I actually have enough of the circuit boards. I don't have enough of the lower metal. Um, so I need to go break more stuff for the lower metal. Hey, Foxmouse, how's it going? So let's go back up here. Is there anything I can break up here? What about you, Box? One unit. Um, let's go check this building over here, see if I can get more just basic metal out of it. Kitchens are usually good for materials. Right, uh, just selling in. Uh, David, my day's been going pretty good. We, uh, we attempted to do the final encounter, uh, to launch our escape pod. Um, we got absolutely murdered. Because it goes tower defense. And we could put up a couple of measly towers that got overwhelmed in seconds. So we're, we're dealing with that whole thing. Hey, Galoosh, how's it going? Like, it was, it was no question, I did not have what I needed to tackle it. No question about it whatsoever. <laughs> um, so I figured out we can get upgrades to happen. So this one I want to do, because that'll give me more of the stuff I need to buy, to build the, um, the turrets. I want to avoid touching the other ones, though. grab all these materials. Oh, get that radiator. Okay, so I got a bunch more. I could probably build the next um, next turret. Okay. I need two more metal still. Um, where can I possibly find metal real fast? Is there anything down this area at all other than that roadside house? Um, yeah, we have to run back to town because I definitely want to go into this with all the materials I can so we can just fence. Yeah, the chain link fences give me the low quality metal, which I can use in the foundry. Like that's fine. That's the reason I ran back and quickly plunked in a whole bunch. Um, but I have to wait for that to process, which takes a while. You're stone, aren't you? You are. Um. And you're steel, which is nice and all that. But now what I need at the moment. Oh, uh, were fire hydrants iron? They are, and it gave me two, which is exactly what I needed. So let's run down here, knock this one out. We'll get some more materials. Then we can move on to the next one. Because it did seem like some of those upgrades are reducing the number of turrets, but making them much better. So it's kind of like in tower defense of spending the money to like make one super strong turret versus a bunch of like kind of meh turrets, and how there is that point where you end up having to do that switch, assuming it's a good tower defense. Okay. So like before, we will start over at this hatch. Why is that one not? One of those is white versus all the other ones are there. Maybe it's fine. It might be it's like blocked or something. Okay. So one mine up here. We'll start walking this in. There's a split path here. Please, dear, don't waste my mines or my bullets. All right, we'll run the other set over here real fast. All right. Let's get our katana. Two waves coming.
All right, how are we doing on this end? Okay, so just got a handful over here. And sorted. I could bait you into grouping up more, please. Okay, so we got a couple more running down this way. Alright, so we got one going left and a couple going right. Honestly, just slightly more damage, those crits would finish them off in one hit. Yay! Victory is ours! Now I take apart all these. And they refund me the total materials. Yeah, I assume the missiles are just going to be like straight up better. Even though that it's going to cost me three turrets worth. Um, that it's going to be an issue that I kind of can't get my turrets on the targets as I want them because they'll be too clumped up. Um, so make up for it by being able to damage the multiple things. Alright, I was not expecting to immediately hit that. That's fine. That's kind of an annoying thing. That, like, if you managed to sneak by at the very beginning, you still wouldn't be able to, uh, to explore this because of the gas mask. Because it also has a slowing effect. Okay, so there's nothing in here so far as enemies. It's literally just break stuff. Okay, so we can throw out all this. There's some boxes and stuff to check out here, so let's search those before we start breaking everything as well. We can make a burrito to deflect even more damage. Alright, thanks for making our turret. Shard. Alright, so we didn't get any more weapon upgrades out of this one, but that's okay. Because uh, we get lots of metal and all that kind of stuff out of it. Um, we also got a thing where we can make one more turret out of it, so that's good too. A bunch of random materials. Circuit boards, yada yada yada. Definitely need to make more titanium or get more titanium. We'll probably have to make the titanium if I'm being real. Um, which does mean there'll be a problem with the steel.
I also didn't look. I think the weapon expansions are literally just a passive thing, like you don't equip them. We'll have to double check that though. Hey, how's it going, I-90? to go and run drop this off going good uh spent like five hours a day cutting down trees you love this game um, is this the main game or the dlc i'm currently in the main game i do have the dlc um we're trying to this is like my first time doing a playthrough so we're kind of like working on the end game thing like i actually started the end game event and just was woefully unprepared uh so we're correcting that i was not expecting the end game event to be tower defense Gonna get real with ya. Not that that's a bad thing. It was the fact that after everything, they're like, tower defense. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, I guess. We could do tower defense. Alright, so let's drop all that off real fast. Oh, there's still first played through the main story as well, currently 80 hours. Yeah. It's those things like, it's doing well today, which is which has impressed me. That's one thing that's made me happy is I got, one thing that's been, it's jokingly been like a curse on the channel, is um, when I play something that, like, I got known for Project Zomboid, even though I've always been a variety streamer, but anytime I was playing something other than that, it'd usually do like really well in the first stream and then just slowly taper down until it's just like, you know, you can't justify streaming it anymore kind of thing. Um, this has actually been holding up better than I thought, which is especially interesting, because when you look at, like, the viewership of Dismantle on the platform, it doesn't exist. Like, a lot of nights when I wrap up Dismantle, if I get a raid out, there's not another person to raid. It's just for whatever reason. Which doesn't speak to how good, bad, or otherwise the game is. Um, it's just a thing on Twitch that... Yeah. There's there's a lot of games that deserve more recognition. Like the other day, um, I have a redeem on the channel where people can make me play a game. So like if someone really wants to see me play a certain game, they can they can pay points to be like, okay, you're gonna play this game. And it's something I schedule on our stream. Like you couldn't just interrupt a game and playing saying, You're playing this now. It'd be like, okay, so you redeem me to play this game. Alright, let me let me let's find a time in the calendar to make that happen. Um, which, for the record, for those who don't know how to redeem works, is I either need to own the game, someone needs to be willing to gift me the game, or the game needs to be free. And that's just because I can't afford it. You saw this for the... Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty recent game. Alright, so I am noticing that the turret upgrades and all that are not something that we do there. So I need 8 titanium for the rocket launcher thing, and we don't know what that is. Now, if you be able to turn it then, maybe not flash enough... Yeah, no, it's a it's a very real thing on Twitch, especially that if something's not multiplayer, um, especially, it's usually short lived. Um, there are exceptions to that like RimWorld has been an exception. Now, granted, RimWorld's been kind of rocky lately. Like some days it seems to do really well, and other days, I mentioned the other day that I popped on and there was only sixty four people on all of Twitch viewing RimWorld. Like literally, that was it, and you're just kind of like what probably another one back here. No, we'd see it. There's something important back there. But um generally speaking, single player games um have very limited lifespans where the update or drop comes out on Twitch. To be very clear, like Steam and all that, that's fine, but like on Twitch, that it comes out, everyone hypes about it and then it very quickly fades away. Um Project Zomboid is another one that's stuck around a lot longer than they usually do. All right. Um and that's partly because, honestly, Project Zomboid, its timing was really good, and it wasn't like a deliberate decision they made. They're like, we're going to time it like this um, to take full advantage or whatever. 
We're gonna get rid of the power attack thing. Oh, this isn't where I need to be. Hang on. We're gonna, like, cook alive here. I'm actually surprised we're not cooking alive. Oh, no, we're higher up. Uh, so I need to go to the right. Um, that it kept seeming like Project Zomboy just had a lot of just random people dropping in. So I think it had good timing that there was not a lot of competition right at the moment it dropped. And that wasn't, like, some nefarious thing that they were coming up with. Just a whole lot of games were supposed to drop around the same time frame and had different reasons why that didn't happen. Um, so where we would expect Project Zomboy to have a ton of competition at the time, it just didn't. And it was a multiplayer drop, which feature-wise, multiplayer is really big. What's done with the Nathaniel? Uh, does Manly get to start with Graveyard Keeper? I actually have debated um, doing Graveyard Keeper on the stream, like, in the nearish term. Because, like, I've played through it. I haven't played through all the DLC. I played through the main game and did everything in the main game for the most part. Didn't grind out all the achievements, but like that. Um, and I started the, I think the first DLC I got a pretty good ways, and then the second DLC I barely touched it. Um, and I've debated breaking that out. The problem, the only thing that's been a hesitation for me doing that, um, is just Graveyard Teaker Keeper takes a long time. Like, not, not in a bad way, like you have a good time with it. Um, but it's kind of like for streaming, if you're breaking out Graveyard Keeper... You know you're in it for a while. And that can cause a hesitation. Pop. Shouldn't have been there. That's not a deer. Elk. Caribou. They're caribou, right? I mean, just fine. Don't tell me, game. Whatever it is, I killed it. Othello Kami is? Nah, they have like a generic um, catch all meat. Oh, right, I have recipes. Um, So we got two new recipes. We got the burrito, which is deflect 10 damage. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where's my seasoning? One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five wheat. And then the green salad is maximum hit points, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Generic catch-all meat? Yeah, I mean, it's what they serve at the cafeteria, right? AKA hot dog. Yeah. That's the, uh, the mystery meat meatloaf. Don't ask too many questions. The more questions you ask, the less you're gonna like when you're like it when you're eating it. All right, so all right. So we have this one again. Two paths. Interestingly enough, this one feels a little bit more kind of exploitable than the other ones. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Because what I should be able to do with this one I need to move. Okay. Let's be careful to not put the mines close enough to the turrets that they could damage the turrets. It kind of feels like it's one of the big problems of this one. 
is how close all this is. All right, let's make this party start. Okay, first wave, pretty pretty good. You're good on ammo. And this time I'm gonna focus on this route a little this side a little bit more. Cause I let take out most of the mines on this side. And that was it. Okay. How long it take the mines to arm? Can you just use another grenades? You can, but you don't throw them very far. So the few times I've done that, um, it's been very hard to not get caught in the blast with them. But yeah, you can you can use them like grenades. And like it literally it just it bumps them and it blasts just like a grenade would. Their AoE is actually pretty solid. So we baited the one into hucking itself in the water. Always a good time. <laughs> Chili dogs, max hit points, nice. Hey Strider, how's it going? So we're supposed to walk on the floating ice to get out now uh those walkways have collapsed all right so far it's been mostly materials here Okay, I actually just corrected my posture. No one ever needs to apologize about not being here at stream start and all that. It's fine. Okay, so get another turn on this. That's what all this seems to be, is running around doing these tower defense things. To make it so I can be better at doing the tower defense thing, so I can prep for um the final thing.
Um, how long would it take to get 100,000 points? So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. There's um there's a thing that while you're watching pops up next to the chat that you can push that gives you a bunch of extra points. Um, if you're subbed, you get extra points. And that's not, like not specifically a me thing to choose. That's just a thing that Twitch does. Um, the higher the tier sub changes how fast you get points. There's a lot to that. I also am going to admit I don't really pay attention to how fast points accrue. So I don't really know at the top of my head. It does take a decent amount of time, though. It's It's not a really fast thing. But that's deliberate, because if it was a thing that, you know, say say it took, like, a month or two is all it took to, you know, accrue those, pretty much what would end up happening is it'd just be a cycle of just people choosing games constantly, and then it'd be kind of chaos in the channel. Um, I want it to be something that's a little bit, like, I want it to be cheap enough that people will and can do it, but I want it to be expensive enough that it's not one of those things that's happening, like, all the time. Because very much a lot of the games people are going to request aren't strategically good choices to stream, but it's kind of a reward for people who are, like, you know, regular slash loyal viewers, that kind of thing. Which is always kind of the balance you have to do with streaming, is, um, you can't just stick with one game that may or may not be good, like, unless you're going to do nothing but that game. And then even then, there's always the risk of if that game becomes irrelevant or whatever. Um, which, a lot of the styles of games, like survival, simulation, those kind of things, a lot of those are the games that very specifically end up having the problem of they drop and they're really popular and then two minutes go by and then suddenly they're just completely dead on Twitch. So it is one of those things. Because, like, honestly, if, if it was cheap enough... I'd probably be playing absolutely nothing but RimWorld and Project Zomboid Pro. With like the rare exception. Anytime I, I try and do my best. Otherwise it's like, why is this table impervious? So we're pulling a whole bunch of steel and all that. That's the reason I'm taking the time to destroy this, is there's a lot of good materials in these places. I'm assuming those, if I was able to break them, would give me titanium, but I can't, so they're not going to. I've also been low on, like, wood scrap because I haven't been collecting it. Yeah, I enjoy a good RTS. It's been a while since I've had a good RTS, to be honest. Let's see, Chris says, I've been watching for about 11 months, and my watch time is probably 7 hours a day, 4 days a week, and 11 hours a day, 2 days a week. So that's like 50 hours total a week. I've spent maybe 100k since I've been here, and I have 617,000 points at the moment. Um, I use a plugin that allows me to claim the bonus points as soon as they're up every time. Yeah. Like, I would, I would say someone who is subbed to the channel, you'd probably be able to afford, not not like, not like counting the clicking and everything, we're not talking like higher tier subs, just like base tier sub. Um, every couple months, you'd probably be able to afford to redeem. Like, for example, I have um, I have enough points on, on Royale with Cheese TV's um, channel that I could redeem, I think, like, four times over uh, the command that... Where she's will make it like a command for you for a hundred thousand, so exact same cost. Um, and I've been tuning in there probably a bit over a year. And I'm at like I said, four hundred thousand. New trips. Uh, do points carry over to our channels? No, the the points are per channel. Like, and that's not stuff that we get choices or anything like that. Most of that kind of stuff, Twitch just has it the way it has it, and that's just the way it is. Like, as the content creator, I can't really nudge it one way or the other. Like, I've had people, not often, but they'll be like, oh, I did mean to redeem that, could you refund my points? And if it's something that, like, if it's something that requires an action from me, I could sit there and say that I have to approve it, and then I could refund that. 
But if it's something like play a sound or whatever, where it happens instantly without my intervention, uh, once it once the points are redeemed, I like I physically couldn't. I also can't give people points, so you know I couldn't like as a meme give someone hundred thousand points to goof off. Strider. All right, gonna stop playing the game now uh, entirely, so I can go to the redeems and turn that off. Toggle enabled. There we go. Sorry, it's one of those things. I want to make that thing programmatic. So that, like, if a certain category of game is up, it shows it. If not, it doesn't. Because then I don't have to deal with, like, turning it on and off before each game. Because that's just another thing that I have to deal with going into stream. And I'd rather not. And I know I could just be like, okay, you know it's not a thing, so you've lost your points. Which I did take the points, by the way. Absolutely took those points. But it makes me want to increase the cost of that really high so I don't have to deal with it. Spray him with the hose. Yeah. I need something like that. Like, it doesn't upset me or anything, to be clear. It's those things like, okay, I left it on. I have, I have so many things I forget to do. All right. Uh, let's see. Burning Sun saying, watch for five minutes equals 10. Click the button every 15 minutes for 15. One hour equals 180. 11 hour stream equals 1,980. Plus raid 250. Plus streak 450 equals 2,680. T1 is a multiplier that gets you to 3,216 per day, six days a week. So it's about just shy of 20,000 a week if you're like a T1 sub and you're active, which almost all the plugins these days will automatically click the thing. Um, so yeah, so it's like 2,000, or sorry, almost, yeah, so it's like 20,000 a week if you're here most of the stream, basically. Um, give or take a little bit, and then you also have stuff like, um, if you're doing the uh, predictions and all that, that can be another thing that can bump the numbers. No, I could just teleport back out of here. I don't need to run. Um, which would imply over the course of just over a month, if you were watching the whole time, um, you would unlock a like you'd unlock um a hundred thousand ish over the course of about a month. Um that said obviously most people aren't gonna be tuned in the full eleven hours and plus, you know, there's gonna be the occasional day where a stream doesn't happen or whatever. Um but yeah, so that, I think that tracks for about, you know, an active viewer who subbed probably two, three months. And what is the blue door thing? Um, it's a thing you find later that lets you teleport to and back from a place. So what happened was as here, I use it. It teleports me back home. And I can walk back to the door. It's basically like a town portal for ARPGs. Um, you have 80 hours in and you haven't found it yet. Uh, I think I got that one through just regular game progression. Okay, so before I go and burn, well, these these materials I can just burn. Um, before I burn my metals, let's see what I have that I can upgrade and all that to make sure I'm not dealing with it. I don't really care, honestly. This stuff here, I don't care about, except for maybe the bandolier. Um, and you need eight titanium, which is actually a lot. I don't really care about the living room decorations. That's fine. That doesn't cost me much. Yeah, so I, I unlocked it and then that appears here. Teleport you home. Uh, if I remembered exactly where I got it from, I would tell you I'm not trying to not share that information. I just don't remember. Um, So I don't particularly need steel for anything at the moment. So let's take all of our steel and make that into titanium. I need eight. I can make 10. And the best part is I can go right here. Oh, you know what? Can I sleep in this bed? Oh, right. That's fake sleep. That sleep's not real. All right, so sleep.
All right. So give me all that. All right, do not upgrade the bandolier or any of that yet. That's not what we need. I need you to go inventory. I need you to go over here. And rocket turret. And another expansion which requires eight more titanium. All right, I don't think we get the extra, the extra thing there. Um, so where is our next target? We've got more of those things. Um, there was one down here. So that's our next target is to go to the desert and hit that one. Now the catch is I'm going to have to figure out where else they are. This should be able to figure them out pretty... Like I've noticed you can see them on the map. So there's one right there. There's one there. It's actually kind of cool that you can just, like, look at it and eyeball it. I actually appreciate that with a lot of this stuff, that you can kind of eyeball certain things that stand out. There's something up there. It's not one of these, but there's something over there. And there's one down there. That one should actually be pretty easy. Like, that one I can just run through the woods there. Okay, so, I'm already wearing my winter stuff. Yeah, actually, I should just have to teleport to the power junction and run for it. Alright, so that's kind of what we're doing, is we're just beelining to all these things. Trying to get all the, all the tower defense materials. Um, oh man, it's already eight. Alright, that's fine. I wasn't expecting to have to, like, track all these things down. But I do think I need way more of these if I'm going to hold my own against the, um... Alright. Was it this one? No, that's the one. Yeah. Alright, there's a lot- there's steel and all that down here, so let's go ahead and break that real fast. Lots of poles near there. Um... You have to- I'll have to look again. We'll be back to that spot a lot, because that's the one I've been using to teleport back and forth. There's our pipe over here. Alright, so we gotta run west, and we're gonna hit this spot. I'm honestly thinking there might be one per every zone. Like, I'm thinking there's probably one of those per every zone. There's probably one of the, um... Temples, one of the tablets. That kind of thing. Yeah, no, Strider. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to fix it yesterday. I totally forgot about it at the end of stream. I'm. I'm guessing what I'm gonna probably have to do is disconnect, um, the bot and myself from like disconnect it all from the bot, and then reauthenticate it all, um, which does mean I have to do a thing where like, I open up Twitch on my computer, um, get all that set up, then I need to log out of myself. Log in on the bot, then do the next connection. It's it's kind of a hassle. I do need to do it, though. It's just another thing on the list of things I need to do. Yeah, no, I gotcha. All 
Alright, I'm gonna take two seconds. I need to use restroom again. So I'll pop down here in the fire and I'll be right back. I was partly sitting there, like, on the way over my mind was going. Because I wanted a way that people could, like, recommend games a channel. Um. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That they could recommend games a channel and all that. But, um. That it wasn't just, like, you know, voting on this, that, and that, like, votes would somehow expire. That way, you know, if someone popped in, they voted for something. And then, you know, they moved on to their channels, which is fine. Like, you know, if they weren't here to tune in, they wouldn't continue to... Oh, more food. Wouldn't continue to be a thing on the channel, that kind of thing. And I was go thinking to myself, like, you know, not only that, it would be also interesting if I could have it where, like, it had a waiting system to it, so that if people voted for games they've already played a whole bunch of the channel... They'd kind of have to have more votes to get me to play it, just to keep the variety side of the variety up. Uh, I don't have enough mushrooms for that, so I gotta get more mushrooms. I've been really bad, very specifically, about collecting the white mushrooms. Alright, I'm not gonna stop and break every one of these poles. It'll just take too long. But, like, have it based on, like, total time played on the channel or something. Okay. Alright, so we're just... Running up here. To the wilderness cabin. And then that's over there. Let's see if there's a fire pit at the wilderness cabin. There is. I figured there would be because it's a new landmark. There hadn't been one for a little while. Let's see how much of a difference these rockets give. A person would grill outside in this climate, asks the character. Someone who really wants to grill, come on. Don't shame him. Vote costs 5k points, which um, goes in the pool. That pool drains like 1% a day. Um, I mean, I could set it up to work with, with points. That wouldn't be the ter- like, actually... The benefit of that, honestly, would be by having it work with the points. Um, there'd be the benefit of where? Where's the tower? There would be the benefit. Oh, is there just one path? Oh yes, one path. It is. I mean, there's technically two paths here, but it's one path most of the way. Um, the benefit of having it work through Twitch would be that by working through Twitch, I would end up 
being able to like kind of have it benefits very specifically people who are tuning into the channel kind of thing. Because that's always one of the catches with that. Um, it's mostly always like doing it on the Discord, that kind of thing. Oh. Didn't... Ah, there we go. Oh, you cost steel for the better ones. Alright, that's fine. Okay. But, um, so one of the concerns you usually have is, like, you know, that, um, it's not actually reflecting your audience, it's just the people who are popping into Discord or just that, which is fine. But you don't want to, you don't want people to get left out because they didn't Discord. When you first got the, your initial batch of steel, do you remember? Um... Trying to remember. Turn the keys way off in the right left side of the pass, so I don't destroy the turrets. I want to say like the first unit or two of steel. Um I had to Wait, I found a foundry, that's right. One of the maps had a foundry on it. Okay, so the missile launcher can friendly fire, for the record. And I almost just died there from my own mind. Alright, can't use the grenades here safely. Okay, so... Mixed feelings about the... Rocket turrets. They AoE and they do a lot more damage, but their ammo capacity is horrendously bad. Which is a pretty big negative. Um... Hmm... That's... I mean, I guess for that last wave, it's just literally just a saturation of enemies. Um, so it might be I still just have to... have to do it, and that, like, my job will be, like, swapping out the ammo as fast as I can. Well, you know, hucking some grenades into the mix, that kind of thing. So weirdly, the knockback makes those big guys way harder. Because their whole thing is if you get on top, you can just run a circle around them. They don't get a chance to do much. Whereas most of the other enemies, if you just run up on them. Basically, the melee enemies tend to be easier to beat with lots of knockback. And the ranged enemies, you know, it doesn't really matter. You just run at them. Okay. Hello. Heard over there. Now I start trashing stuff.
Okay. Well, that answers that question, because that's what I've been wondering as I accidentally broke that box, is it did give me a circuit board for, um, making our turret, so I don't really have to search, I guess. Still paranoid about, though. Okay. I'm also being a little bit more thorough in taking these parts and stuff. No stuff respawns in the map, right? So technically there's a limited amount of stuff. Yes, but like enemies do um do give you some stuff by themselves. Um and there's even if you do the thing where you can kill the enemies, you can, you know, quote unquote ascend the area. Um and it does respawn the enemies. I don't believe it respawns the stuff. But I don't know, but I also haven't seen many opportunities to like actually get rid of materials, like permanently get rid of them. Okay, that answers that question, because that I destroyed and it gave me a recipe. So like technically I could kill the enemies, um, get them to drop trace bits of scrap metal and wood, use that to upgrade the scrap metal into iron, use that to upgrade the iron into steel, use that to upgrade the steel into titanium. It'd be horrifically inefficient and I wouldn't even want to think about actually doing it. Um, but if you just really didn't want to actually go and um, deal with a bunch of stuff, you could technically do that. Think more the other way around. Clear the map and see how much stuff there is. Yeah, I mean, that's also the thing. There's, like, there's so much stuff. If I actually took the time to clear the map, I would just never need anything. It's just you'd have to have the patience for taking the time to clear the entire map. Before we run around and do more of that, let's drop this off. And pick all this junk up. I do appreciate that they put a storage box in here because they knew you were going to take the time to do this. Legendary Collector. Store 25 legendary quality stuff, and that'd be that computer chip that lets me... That's a grenade. That lets me, um, build more turrets. already full again. Alright, we can drop this off. Grab the next batch. And I believe that's all of it. If not, we didn't miss anything super important. I can't break this, right? Nope. All right. So that was a good one. All right, so there's another area I need to pay attention to up here. It feels like that spot's something. Like, we've got that area up there and that area up there. I'm already up here. Let's actually check down there. Yeah, let's do a quick look around, because there's a good chance we'll find a ruin and a tablet up here. All right, so we can't go this way. Does it look like I'll be able to go around the other way? It, it does. All right, let's go around and do that. 
So it seems like I am having to like explore most, if not all, the map. Which is fine, we've already explored like 90% of it, and when we're like just beelining for stuff, it's not that big a deal. Right. These eggs and mushrooms and that I need to be collecting. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing here. So we got a bridge up here, so let's get up there, check that island. Okay. Well, nothing here so far. There's a fishing spot there. It's been interesting that we're still finding fishing spots. Because, like, I've not needed more fish in a long time. So there's, like, basically nothing here but a fishing spot. Which, surprisingly, there it goes. It's just, I was going to say, it's not showing on the map. All right, so that one's a bust. I'm gonna run down here because there was another um area just over this way. Okay. Alright, nothing over there. Run up here and check this island. Nothing here. Check this island. There is a dig spot. All right. Honestly, the dig spots are usually like the most underwhelming result of things I've found on these. It's like I find a dig spot, I was like, oh, it's technically a secret, but like it's gonna give me a handful of fabric or a couple pieces of lumber or something I don't really care about. Okay. Alright, so we cannot get to that island that we can see. Um, I'm not expecting to find much up here. There could be one of the tablets. But I'm not expecting it. Yeah, it's nothing. Got more of these mushrooms I said I need to be picking up, so... That's good. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Um. Do I see any obvious place for the ruins? That's a thing down there. I think that's a well. That's a timed crate. Something down there it might just be a rock. All right, we're just going to go back to the fast travel. I'm not going to wander around forever to find those things. Um, it'd be good to get some more of the blue eye orbs 
like really good to be getting more of the blue eye orbs. Uh, but I don't want to really track down every inch of the map if I don't have to. Alright, so next contestant. Where is your tower defense thing? And they're building a bunch of stuff down there. I'm expecting to see it up in this area. But I'm just not. I got a whole bunch of like maze areas inside here. That'd be another place I'd expect to potentially see it. Uh, I don't see one here. I know one of these we saw, we made out what looked like it, like in the way bottom of the zone. Um, it might not be every zone. Like, I, I genuinely don't know on this stuff. Yeah, like, this feels like the kind of area I'd put it. Alright, well, that's fine. Okay, so that's either a bonfire or a well. Or just a large tire. That looks like a large tire there. There's another fire there. There, that's one. Okay, so... It's looking like the fast route's going to be through here. There wouldn't happen to be one on this side, would there? That'd be awfully convenient if it's like just right there. Okay, we can definitely get a blue eye orb there. That's um, that's one hundred percent a shrine, or or whatever those are called. Um, and that should be easy to get at from. The relay. Oh no, I'm wrong. The relay. Well, actually, where is the relay? The relay's down there. Well, that sucks. I do appreciate that you can like literally just look at the map and be like, there it is. You just have to spot it. Now we couldn't go in there because I have to do all of this stuff first. Um, you are down here. So there's your tomb. So you can go right here. That's yours. I'm going to teleport there. So we're going to have to be quick about this. Which they're going to switch to our summer attire. Fast travel down there. All right. I also missed that you should be switched to cold. All right, let's run down there. Get that one done. There's more steel there. I actually do want to... Like, you don't want to stop for all the steel, because, like, there is there is lots of it. It just takes time to collect. Like, these poles are steel. Which is certainly a good thing, and I want to get the steel so I can get the titanium. But I also don't want to take the time to do, like, destroy every pull along the way or anything like that. Because I'm, I'm kind of half hoping that when we do these, I'll, um, I'll get, like, either a sledgehammer or, like, a titanium crowbar or some, something that makes it like I can destroy stuff much faster. And also takes a bunch of stuff I can't destroy now and makes it destroyable.
All right, so I've got this one. The same deal. They come out of here. It looks like they go up that way and down that way. So we will start by switching our inventory over to building the turrets. Um. Okay, so we've got all that set up. Get these all set up over here. And those two are pretty close together. I'm worried if I go closer, I'll destroy my own turrets. Alright. this side a little bit. Where are they going up there? Oh, they're doing like a lap. Interesting. Anyone need ref recharge? All right. Alright, so he did destroy one of the turrets, that's fine. Okay. Get all these back real fast, and we'll check out the next one. Bunch of 
deal. Um, melee attack delay. That's still gaming our circuit for making more defenses and all that, so. Not all bad news. This one being one of the ones that had less stuff for me, but that's okay. Look like there's a decent amount of steel down here. Back this like last room down here. Maybe just skip all this other junk. Um, the last room towards the bottom had a bunch of pipes and everything on the wall and all that. That'll probably be good. So I still need more titanium for a lot of my upgrades. I want plenty of the the iron ingot or whatever they are. We need more steel for making the missile turrets instead. There's another pipe over here. No, that's not, that's not pipe. Uh, yeah, it's good enough. Let's see, it should destroy the box. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like this spot had like a sinkhole or something for a minute. All right. So, let's see what we can figure out for the next spot. Alright, so we got that one. Do we see an obvious one down here somewhere? You don't see across that bridge, which is one of the ones I thought. We're going to clear the entire map of trees. I figured out, figured out how to cut the biggest trees down. Nice. Huh. Kind of expecting to find around here. So it's either I so the two things I could think is either one, they don't all actually have that, which is a possibility. Or two, like sometimes it'll be covered up by trees so you can't see it. That's fine. Alright, so there's something down in there. I'm mostly starting with the outskirts more than anything else, because that's kind of where I'm expecting them to be hidden the most. Like tucked off into corners like that and stuff like that. I don't see it there. With this map being wide open, though, the way you could hide it is just, like, literally have it just in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm not seeing one on this one, either. Uh, oh, I'm looking for the bunkers, the things I've been doing right now. You can see them on the map if you just, like, scout around with the mouse. Um, but it's not looking like I'm seeing one on this map. Let's go to the next tile up here. Did I get one in yours? I have not. One of these I had way towards the bottom that we saw. Like, it just, like, moused over. It's like, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, 
gets the box. Not quite sure what that is. There's a shrine that goes to the next area. Definitely gonna be, be be on this side of the wall. There's a bond or campfire. Okay. There's a shrine in that. That island seemed like a good place for it, but no. There's lots of way they could hide it. That is not the sh Is that the shrine there? Yeah, I think that's the shrine there. Or the ruins, or whatever you call them. Yeah, it seemed like a good place for it because of it being blocked by the pipelines and all that. Alright, um... So I know for a fact... Wait. There's one right there. Because there's where we go to. And your checkpoint's up there, so we're going to Link Tower up there. Is there a faster to get there? No. Alright, so we do this. Uh, let's let's check what material wise I need for um for finishing getting my last upgrade for the defenses. I need eight titanium. So let's see if I can make exactly eight titanium. Close enough. Oh, that's not eight titanium. Eight titanium. Cool. Um, and I don't want to burn the stuff to make a whole bunch of steel, right? Well, actually, this is a bad choice, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, I'm going to lean in on... I don't have enough scrap wood. It's fine. Let's go as much as I can. Okay. And I can cook a recipe real fast. So I should be able to make the mushroom omelet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Faster strafing speed. So we can have an oven, oven salmon. So let's put in the seven salmon. Put in the six potatoes. And the five speed that. It upgrades our fishing speed, which I really don't care about. Um, melee attack delay plus 5%. Sure? I don't really know. That sounds like a bad thing to me. Unless it's like a 5% reduction. Either way, we did it. It's a recipe. It's good enough for me. Alright. So, the next place we're going is cold. So let's switch to our cold clothes. And we'll run down here and try and teleport up to it.
Grab some extra steel while I'm here since I just burned a whole lot of steel to, um... Get that titanium going. Uh, fast travel, that one. So I'm assuming I have no more of the um, orbs, so transmitter, I do. A key is required to get, okay. Alright, well, that still means the enemies will stay dead when I kill them now. Which is a big plus in my book. Alright, um... Yeah, so where I'm going is way down there. I've actually seen it, apparently. I also notice I am getting more movement speed over time as well, which is great. This helps me get around the map way faster. Hey, I gained a level. Let's deal with you real fast. Alright, so I don't want to activate it. Um, uh, let's see. So interestingly enough, I'm really... So it's got two paths, but I might be able to actually destroy the wall between the two paths and not have to worry about it. otherwise I don't think the turrets will shoot past these walls. So if we destroy this wall in between, I should be able to set up the guns as long as both paths are in range. They should just go for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. Um...
All right, I'm not feeling great about this placement because the path is so wide and I worry if I put them in the middle they'll just get destroyed. Alright, I didn't mean to actually heal, but that's fine. We're here now, so let's just do it. I'll put one... No, don't do that. I was going to put one right on. I was like, wait a second, that's a terrible idea. If I put one directly on and one gets there, I do extra damage to my own building. Because I've learned that mistake more than once. Okay. One thing I would like to deal with really quickly is you. Just so I don't accidentally forget about it, run up and get, you know, just wailed on real fast. Don't you blow up my minds. There we go. Alright, let's start this party. So it does like look like I'll need a mix of those turrets, and the reason I'm gonna need a mix of those turrets is the um the missile turrets knock stuff back, which makes it so they're not clumped up again for the missile turrets. So it does seem like the answer is you you have a little bit of each. Which I figured would probably be the case, because usually, like in in stuff that's like kind of low effort uh, tower defense, like um, like Blight League and Path of Exile, like you can choose any any strategy and just roll with it, and it's good enough for the most part. Um, but when you're talking about like a proper tower defense, they will they will make certain units then to a certain degree counter other things, so you can't just lean all in on one unit. They have to do some mixing. Like, you have certain towers that deal with, um, crowd control kind of stuff. Alright, so you do have some dangerous enemies. Alright, I shouldn't just be taking these to the face. Alright, that's enough for another one of the turrets.
Okay. I didn't like deal with getting like all caught in there and taking a bunch of damage. All right. Prosperity. But should we share this with the rest of the world? I say, not yet. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay. The orders are waiting for the top side to quiet down and reclaim the surface. All right, smash stuff in here. Because plenty of iron and steel and maybe titanium. Probably just iron and steel. But I'm already making the titanium. All right. And maybe here in a moment we'll... See how we do if we attempt to do the um end game thing again. Cause we've got most of these. We're gonna have our um our turrets fully upgraded. My hope is that maybe we'll be able to uh use the rocket's knockback to kinda keep the enemies just scattered enough they won't be able to damage much. Um I'm not confident in that. But we'll see. So I think the idea is I build as many rocket towers as I can afford to do so. And then have just the guns as the backup for as things get past. And then I, the player, will also just deal with stuff that gets past. It really depends. Like, it seems like I'm pretty okay fighting them as long as it's a reasonable number. The moment starts to just go overwhelming. It's as well as things that I end up taking hits that I can't afford to take. Drop all this off real fast, and then we'll go back to smashing stuff. I'm gonna need all of the metal I can get. Plus, as a way of making sure I don't miss any important patterns, because if I destroy all the furniture in the place, I can't have like a chest I missed searching or whatever. It also replenishes our busted up wood we need for making a bunch of the processed materials. Okay. We also have the sandbags. So I guess the idea is just going to be heap as many sandbags between the goal in there just so the enemies have to take the time to destroy them like it literally just run back and forth and reload the no oh, of course can't hit that just run back and forth and reload everything as fast as I can Alright, 
inventory is low again. Interesting that there's a door here. Like, with some of those doors, I expect them to, like, attach to places on the surface. Yeah, so there's a box here I missed that I wouldn't have probably noticed had I been clearing the whole area out. Probably some good, too, since buried in the corner. Nope, just rubber. It's still fine. It's useful materials. And I got one room left up here. I guess technically two rooms. Alright, so let's drop this off. I have to do like a lap or two to get all this stuff put away. But that's fine. Keep morale high, report to the CEO immediately. Okay. Oh, there's a thing of rubber there. Let's get all that stuff down there. And that'll be all that. Missed one thing here in the corner. Okay. So now the question ends up being, will we have what we need to make this like last push happen? Or is it something I'm going to really, really, really want slash need all of the bunkers? Because yeah, you got that bunker. We didn't see one up here. We haven't found a way to get over. Like, clearly we can get here. And my guess is that we go across here. We take, like, a boat or something. But, you know, that's been going pretty good. Um. Oh, yeah, it was one of these ones. It was the bunker in the corner. There. That bunker. I was saying, I know I saw one over there. Um, if we go to Central Link Tower, I can probably get there real fast. Okay, well, let's, um, if I already see where it's at, let's just grab it. Okay. So that... Is that enough of them for... Doing the upgrade or am I one short still? Because it's still working. Okay, so turret specialist. I didn't even look at what it was. We just got it. That's fine. That's what I wanted anyways, so that's fine. Um, invent. So I just need one more titanium. How long do I have left in that titanium? So, two and a half in-game hours. That's fine. 
All right, let's run over there, grab the next one of those places. We'll just have to see how um how good those defenses end up working. Because the thing we don't really know is the sandbags. I haven't been building those because they haven't felt necessary. Um, but I do imagine for our final push, I'm going to need to build all the sandbags I can and just effectively make a wall. Unless they pass through them. If they pass through them, that might actually make this easy. Alright, I believe that was the closest one. Double check that. Where did my mark go? There it is. Yeah, so that'll be the easiest one to get there. Um, so I just need to just run that way. Okay. And we're getting pretty close here to where I'm going to have to step away for just a couple minutes to make my dinner happen. Um, Tomb should be getting home soon. I haven't heard her get home, but I don't always hear her, depending on how much noise is going on. Okay, I haven't revealed a lot of this map, and there's dead enemies here, which is a curiosity. I don't have to deal with the gas mask if I don't have to. Alright. Fine, I'll put on the gas mask. All right. Okay, so this one, if I kill enemies, they don't stay dead. That's fine. All right, so that's what that is. We've got our two paths that separate out over here. Oh, here, let's get rid of you. Um, now we got this. Okay, so the question ends up being, so they, they go from one path here. And then they split. It does like a figure eight, so I don't know if they're going to cross through the middle, or they're just going to go up the lanes, or a little of A, a little B. I don't really know um, who's trying to get my attention about what. Okay. It's another need to address right now. Okay. Sorry. It was just a text from my mom, and she wouldn't text unless it was something not urgent, but something that did need addressing. Doesn't need addressing right this second, though. Um, all right. So let's see here. I've got ten of those circuits now. Uh, so let's go and switch that up to there. I'm going to try and experiment with this one a little. It may not work out. We'll put one of those there. And one of them here. Two here. We'll see how that works. I don't actually have high confidence in that. And the reason for that is I'm fully expecting it to just knock stuff around and cause mayhem. Alright, and we'll do this just in case things go wrong. Let's hope those don't matter. All right. Two waves.
Okay, I should not have underestimated those. Those are actually working very well. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about these, considering they're... I didn't catch the fact that they're stunning them as well. Yeah, so it seems like if I use these, I'll be spending the whole time just doing reloads. Yeah, that was the first wave. It took him a while to figure out they were dead. It... Oh, wait, nope, 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 we're not done. Okay. So I imagine if I put these all in a line but slightly different ranges, so that they don't so they don't all fire at once. So they kinda like one fires and the next one kind of thing. I could probably shut down an entire area of enemies pretty quick. And I just need just enough of the gun turrets in the back for again like that one that got knocked forward. And otherwise this is my job, just run back and forth and reload. Okay, I'm glad we did that test, because I grossly underestimate how well those uh, missile turrets are going to work. The thing I didn't catch is how much they stun stuff, is the big thing. That stun is absolutely going to be everything. Because I was worried that when they got scattered, it was going to make it so the damage is just so spread out. But if they're stunned for a good like second, two or three, I think that'll be fine, because they'll be spread out, but then, you know... I can just keep chaining shots and knocking stuff over and all that. Okay, all that said, um, it is going to be about that time. So what I'm going to quickly do is I do need to take a minute to make sure my food happens and everything. Alright, so for those who popped in while I was on that break, um, where we're at in the game now, I should actually set a marker here as well, um, where we're at right now is we attempted to launch the rocket or the escape pod or whatever it is. Um, thank you, an anonymous gifter, for gifting a sub to Pretty Pictures. Thank you, anonymous gifter, for gifting that sub to Pretty Pictures. Uh, oh, that's three months of T1 to Pretty Pictures. That is very generous. Three whole months. That is, that is quite generous. So thank you so much for that. Pretty pictures. I hope you enjoy yourself some nice advertisement, free viewing, as well as access to the emotes, whether you wanted them or not. But yeah, so thank you for that. I was like, ah, the T1 subs. So like, wait a second, there's more. Oh, that's a death chasm. Oh, where are you in the island right now? Um, I am in an underground bunker on... I don't remember. Oh, uh, we've been doing the underground bunkers. Because we attempted to launch the um the escape craft and the final event is tower defense. Of which I could put up I think it was like three no, it was like two or three crappy towers. And to say they got overwhelmed was like understating it quite a bit. Like, it wasn't even remotely close. The turrets basically killed, like, a handful of enemies and just immediately got overrun seconds later. And that was with me trying desperately to do all the damage I could. Um, shirking survival. So, it was very clear that something had to change. Um, that said, we found if we go to the other bunkers, that we could do them now, and every one of them gave me materials for, um... 
summoning one more... Sorry, one more... I'm getting distracted by these things. Um, one more turret, as well as food upgrades and that kind of stuff. More gun, more tower. Pretty much. It's interesting that in a lot of ways, those guys are a counter to having high knockback. Where high knockback seems to be a counter against melee units. Um, like the tougher ones, you knock them back so their swing doesn't land in the first place. But the big guys, because they kind of shotgun out wherever they spray, by knocking them back, you're giving them a lot more ability to hit you reliably. Alright, those will be probably the thing. So that gives me one more, uh, one more turret, that resource. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to the ASCII. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting six subs to the channel. Um, and I'll read off all the names once it's done doing the announcement one after the other. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to Boozbo. This is an automated recording sent from K Twenty Three, the Crown Station. All right. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to Benley Eleven. That reminds me, I need to start adjusting all those sounds, because uh, I actually have the finished music now, chat. Um, I don't have any of the scenes right. Thank you, yet, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to Warchild. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to Alzrich. Okay, and one more. Thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting a sub to BBY Rhino. And thank you, Chucky Forty Nine Er, for gifting those six T1 subs to channels. The following people, you now have yourself some nice advertising previewing as well as access to the emotes, and that would be the Escape. Uh, Boost boy boo hey I I know how to pronounce that too and my mouth is unwilling to do it. Um And then uh you also have Warchild, um All's Wretch, BBY Rhino Probably Baby Rhino. So you all have yourself some nice advertisement free viewing as well as access to the emotes, whether you want to them or not. So thank you again for uh Chucky 49 er for gifting those subs to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, that kind of like direct support is one of the things that does really help. Like by all means, being here lurking helps a great deal. So don't don't discount that as well. But obviously, direct financial compensation also helps a lot. So you know that thing. Yeah. Oh, we got a bunch of titanium in here. From oh, wait, never mind. Those bits in there hopping because I'm saving up one more for increasing the ammo capacity for my sentries. Like it's officially a checking order for, as an anonymous gifter. I mean, no one needs to out anyone. I also have no idea. Like when you're anonymous, I genuinely, truly do not get to see who actually did it. And I am taking the time in these bunkers to, like, destroy everything, because I've already had once where I thought I had gotten everything and I had missed a single box. Like, I think in that particular case it was just rubber in the box, not anything actually good. But it'd be my luck that I missed, like, some massive upgrade to the sentry guns or something by going too fast. Alright, so when we go back to our home base, I should have the last titanium I need to upgrade the ammo capacity of our sentries. Um, and then we might be in good shape to attempt the final event again. I'm actually really curious how the final event is going to go in regards to if we do successfully launch it. Like, I don't imagine it's like, game over, you can't continue, like, you, you've won, it's over, nothing left to do kind of thing. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Mm. 
All right. Yeah, so I'm just breaking everything real fast right now. And then we'll uh, do a run through. Afterwards, like, just to, like, the, the good news about these bunkers and all that is they put a stash in here for you, so it's just really fast. Just smash everything, run to the stash. That's not what I wanted to do, but I did it, so we're here now. Um, oops. I accidentally teleported home. It's fine. I can teleport directly back. Let's grab those while we're here. All right. But the things I need the most of right now are steel and iron and all that. Um, that's what I use to make the uh, the sentry guns. I do get it refunded if they're destroyed or if I take them down kind of thing. But they are very expensive to build. They're like 25 each. So I gotta keep a lot of that material on hand. So is someone going to break the news to the excess people in the workers' quarters that someone needs to go? That's a bit deeply concerning. That you're like, you're one of the lucky ones who gets in the shelter, like, yeah, but like... I know you made it, but we're going to need you to step outside into the apocalypse. If you don't mind. Which answer is yes, I do mind very much, actually. Alright, I also even want the scrap wood because I use that for fuel for the smelter, and I've actually been running out because I've been smelting so much. So we're down to just like one or two rooms left to destroy stuff in. And then like I said, I just run through real fast, touch the stash, run through again, touch the stash. It usually doesn't take long. It seems like there's only one of these per region and we've done most of the regions as is. Yeah, I'm still on the fence whether we're going to be following this up with Project Zomboid RP or, um... Or my type of Porsche. I, I feel like I really have... To... Oh, I can't destroy those? Interesting. I feel like I really should make it the, uh, the Project Zomboid RP. Just because I know others are involved and... You don't feel great about it if... You got people involved, you're like, yep, I'll probably be there. Never mind. Um... Don't be that person. But I really enjoyed my time, of course, yesterday. I'm going to do both. It's just the whole, what am I doing right now? Um, I had to figure out how I want to do my time, Porsche, because that's that, to me, seems like a, a game that I shouldn't expect to see any real channel growth on. Um, because like every time I've looked at both my time, Porsche, and Sandrock, uh, very genuinely, 
like has like five or ten viewers on the entire platform at almost all times, which is basically absolutely nothing. Um, Moriarty says, I really just like watching Dismantle, but also, I always just want to play Dismantle. I mean, that's fair, it's a good game. I mean, it's very cathartic to just, like, break stuff and slowly, like, dismantle, hence the name, everything on, like, the map. And just go into areas that I cleared out. I like watching it, but it makes me want to play it, which is counterproductive. Yeah, that does happen. I mentioned that in, um, I think it was 2D Curie's chat the other day. Um, it's like, I, I want to be productive, but I also want to play my games. And I can't, like, the, the both of them is not working out. <laughs> like, it's just very not working out. And it is a problem. <laughs> Which, pretty much anyone's gonna be like, yeah, no surprise there. And I believe that's all of it. Alright. Same thing with my type of portrait? Yeah, it's been interesting that, um... Like... So... These are these are games that seem to be like people really enjoy watching them. No one no one knew is like really on a meaningful level looking for them on Twitch. Like it's not no one no one, but it's very low numbers. Which means like it's fine for keeping people interested, but it's not it's not a thing you can grow a channel on. All right, do we have more bunkers? So we got a bunker there. We got one here. Um, we have not found one in this region yet. Because my assumption is each of these is going to help us go a long way with that. Because we have found, you can actually find the, um, you can find the bunkers by just looking around. Yeah. Wait, actually, did I switch zones in accident? I did. Yeah. Um, you can find the bunkers by just looking around. You can find the ruins by looking around as well. We just kind of like mouse over and you'll be like, ah, there it is. Um, so you can kind of like look before you leave. That looks like an area that's going to have something. Yeah, that's that seems like a super suspicious spot right there. That looks like it's probably a ruin. Cause I have like a little circle with a um a middle spot. Yeah, which I don't see here. That's fine. I think Either way, what I think we're going to actually do is I'm going to teleport back home. I'm watching you run around and get so close to things before picking them up is so confusing. I remember exactly how much I rely on the magnet. Yeah, it's mostly been um just as a recent change because I had to like really set up for combat for um some stuff. All right, there is the the ammo expansion. Okay, so I've maxed out everything that can do. I'm not going to spend my steel on that. I'm going to need that for the... For the guns and all that. Alright, um, did we have another recipe? I keep losing track of how often we're finding recipes. Cook. We do. Um, I don't have enough mushrooms for that. Not enough cactus for that. So what are those going to give me? Melee attack speed. Critical hit damage. I mean, those are good. But... Let's see if I've got enough stuff at this point to kill, like, the final event. Because I suspect you don't actually have to full clear everything to make that happen. But that it would certainly help. 
So I want to see like how close it feels. Like if it's one of those things that we go in there and we just demolish it, or we go in there and it's just not even close. All right, and I still need more steel. Cause I do think I have like three or four of the um missile turrets. Then I might be able to effectively chain stun the enemies down. I just need to put them close enough together I can reload them rapidly, but far enough apart that they don't, like, all fire at the same time, because otherwise what can happen is I don't get I don't get enough stuns out of them because they're all hitting the same thing. I want them to kind of, like, rolling fire. So I think I might need to, like, do a wedge, or not even a wedge, like a, an angle pattern for them. All right, and we'll fast travel over to the crown. It's also surprising because I know I can get better weapons for breaking stuff. So I am, I am very curious. All right, is that the way I need to go? Uh, yes. Um. So it's clear there's going to be more tools and all that in there. Not even counting the DLC. So it's been interesting that I've not found it. Because like there's plenty of things where I go and I hit it. It's like, oh, you need to have 90 damage. Like, well, if I need 90 damage to break that, very clearly I'm going to need to be able to do 90 damage. Yeah, so we go up, then we go right. All that. You give iron, right? Not steel? Yeah, you give iron. That's fine. I'm pretty good at my iron situation. Are you iron as well, or are you steel? Iron as well. Yeah, I remember those picnic benches at the beginning of the game. That was my main source of iron. Was I'd look for the picnic benches and break them, because there was something I could break that would give me iron. Oh, right. I don't need to go down that way. I need to go up this way. Let's see. Are you looking for those, like... Titanium ones, um, the big three bar? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Titanium ones, the big three. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking for steel, sorry. Like this one. So not, not the ones that look like rebar. Uh, the ones that look like, like shinier ingots. Because that's what I need to make the missile turrets. Oh, wait. Um. Alright. So we're getting ready for, like, serious fight. So, you're out of here. Um. We're going to make you the three knives, I think. Um. And the rest should be fine. You think you mainly found those cards? Yeah, so I actually can't break cards still. That's the thing that's kind of interesting, is I missed somewhere, like, an optional quest, or I haven't quite caught it yet. So I'm doing, like, the end game event, and I haven't, like, I still can't break a lot of things. Ow. That'll give me a piece of steel. All right. So, I don't know how much I can adjust how they move, but we're going to find out. So I don't know if their pathing is going to be smart enough to correct itself to just go around. Like I said, we're going to find out. I don't think putting more layers over there is going to make any kind of a difference. All right.
Is he gonna get knocked around a bit? Alright, I don't wanna put these too close to that. He's a probably chain react each other and I'll feel real dumb about it. Um, let's see, I wonder if um something in the temple tablet quest gives you stronger tools that break glass up? Probably. But that's um that's me hunting all over the map, and I'm trying to not do that specifically on stream. Just because I feel like that might get very tedious to watch. All right. Well, that wasn't good. So, those defenses didn't do a whole lot for us. The escape pod is safe. Give me back my stuff. Good to know friendly fire is on. So, the, uh, the machine guns can't hit me. But those missile ones can. Well, now you can see what happens. Well, goodbye. I expected to explode or something. Like launch up in the air and explode and then we spawn back down here. I don't expect it to end to end. Escape the island. Yay, achievables! Okay, credits. Alright. So, I very much enjoyed Dismantle. For those who haven't seen, we've done like what? Like six, seven streams of this? Um, I've had a really good time with this. I don't think we're necessarily done, 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 forever done with this game kind of thing. I can see playing the DLC. I, oh, we hit the sub goal, by the way. Thank you so much for hitting the uh, hitting the sub goal, everyone. I really do appreciate that. It does mean a lot. Um, so thank you so much for that. But um, I very much enjoyed the game. There's a very big catharsis with like literally just going up and like efforts. You can only destroy like the trash bags and then like the trash cans and a couple of like wooden things and boxes, and everything's still just a dump. And you can, like clean off the vines. And then later you're able to start breaking like the bigger things. Then like the metal poles. You're doing the uh, DLC and you really enjoy the same one. I heard nothing but good things about both the DLC. I deliberately avoided the first DLC this time. Because the last time we had started a run with that. Um, what ended up happening was I got into the DLC area and I was able to get my hands on steel like way before I was meant to be able to get my hands on steel outside of like just already knowing what you're doing in the game. And so it kind of had like the negative effect of that I skipped like two whole layers of progression to just get to that point. And so I was like, okay, I don't want to go there and like accidentally get the big thing. You want to try the laser sword in the DLC? Yeah. But yeah, so I, I very much enjoyed the catharsis of everything. Like, the story was fine. Um, for those who didn't catch what we caught of the story so far, um, is there was a, I don't know if it was a tribe, there were people on that island beforehand, and an individual showed up who had just one arm, and they made him king, and then mana showed up, um, which is just this resource that's powerful, but with it came some type of, like, corrupting zombie thing. Um, eventually they turned on the king and killed him. Um, but it seems like the king just keeps coming back. And so the thing that made me curious is if we are the king, because he makes a comment about he's going to lose his mind and he needs to like hide the information and all that. Um, so I'm, I still go by the theory and we didn't have it confirmed. I'm sure if we unlock more stuff, it'll give us what the actual story is. But um, I'm going by the theory that we are the king that like we've forgotten everything through like the madness caused by our isolation and everything and dealing with the virus and whatever, or whatever the, the, the corrupting plaguey thing is. I'm here about three fourths the power cell and level forty one. So I've got a long way to go. Um I mean not really. If you're already three fourths the power cell and you're level forty one, 
I think I was like level 42 or 43 at the end. So just get the power cell, um, do the whole like, you know, where it moves and all that kind of stuff. Um, and like really honestly doing those bunkers, the bunkers we knocked out, that took us only like two, three hours. Maybe, maybe four hours? Squirrel scripting language. I've never heard of that one before. You haven't made it to the desert yet? Yeah. So you're probably you're probably not too far. I think I think if you knew where you were going in this game, you could probably knock out a playthrough. Actually, let's let's see how long I've got in the game. I have played this game for about 37 hours. Of which that's two playthroughs where one I got to about the point where we were about to start Titanium. And then the other one is this one. Um so I would guess we've got recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. So I escaped and left everything behind. Again. There was the accident, of course. Something wrong with the escape pod thruster. I lost my arm. But that was only the beginning. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so we are the one-armed king, or rather we become the one-armed king. All right, so I broke 9,565 objects. I slayed 3,884 monsters. I caught 174 fish. I killed 81 animals. I murdered 54 trees. I traveled 215,623 meters. I slept 64 hours. I dug up 41 treasures. I grew, grew 171 plants. I built 151 structures. You rested 394 times at campfires. You picked up and stored 29,998 materials. You died 84 times. You played 29... Okay, so it's 20 an hour, 29 hours. You were not vegan. Okay. I didn't realize vegan was... One of the things I would potentially have to do. So I'm assuming if I choose play, I'm going to wake up. Yeah. Basically, I could escape. Save has been restored the moment for escape pod. The main quest is now complete. You can complete side quests in our activity. That's pretty much what I figure is going to happen. Find the means of escaping this wretched place. Claim my reward. Did you give me an extra thing? All right, let's. Oh, this is open now. I would like to see inside this place. I need you to not back up into the turret, please. All right, now I'll deal with that. There we go. All right. I'm curious of what we'll find in here. I mean, I may have murdered the trees, but let's be real. The trees deserved it. All right, so this is going to open another one of those side tunnels that we looked at earlier. Sam, oh, yeah. Right, because it said it restored it back to um before we did that. So that would imply that... So we, we become the one-armed king... So all those, like, prophecy things, um, they're foreshadowing. Not, they're not, they're not the history of the island, they're the future of the island, or something like that. This is the story of how you became... King, basically. Yep. 
arc lab key. I don't know where the arc lab is, but we have the key for it. Straight up titanium. Cool. So, I was actually expecting more in here, but it does look like it's a shortcut around, which is not bad. The downside is the enemies aren't going to stay dead in here, but I think I'm fine with that. Alright. We killed all stuff down here already. Okay, so we have the different DLC now. Ow. I'm just falling off stuff, don't mind me. All right. Single unicorn. Oh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do it like this. Oh, I don't have my teleport equipped, that's right. Yeah, so... That was the main story done. Um... We still have, like, the unnatural energy signals uh, to investigate those. Which is curious. Because I ran around... Travel to the place with unnatural energy. Oh, that was the one that was way down here, wasn't it? We can do that. Because I'm, I'm juggling what I want to do. I'm very much enjoying Dismantle. Um, I know at some point tonight I do should switch games and all that. Um, but I'm debating... Like, I really should do the Project Zomboid RP, because I know... I know if it's one of those things if I don't do that with a certain amount of regularity. Um Like that's 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 the thing with RP. If you if you aren't frequent with it, you're not gonna have the RP opportunities because people like like for example with the, the shop or whatever or the um the bar, if I don't have that open regularly, people won't show up to it because it's not open enough. You know, it'll it'll be unreliable as it were. Uh, where was it going? Down here. Um, at the same token... Um, hey... One second, I need to switch this out. Let's get the knock back out of here. Do we have an orb? I don't, right? I do not. Alright, so that's the reason why I wasn't doing a bunch of exploration here. So let's just run down and try and make that happen. I don't want to fight everything because it won't stay dead. So I can just run away from it. We can just run away from it. It's inside that place.
Because my hope is one of these will lead us to what I need to destroy literally everything. We got a campfire in the middle of this nonsense. And a radioactive symbol. Zidian, thank you so much for the raid. Bear with me for just a moment. I'll get you a shout. I'm kind of hostile territory. Uh, but welcome. I do hope you had yourself a good stream, and I'll try and see what you were streaming here in just a minute. The patient has frostbite and thermal burns. Okay. So I think that's going to give me some breathing room to get that shout out and all that. Okay, let's go ahead and get that going. Shout out. Zidian. Cool, cool. Um, and you were playing some... It's not telling me. I'm guessing War Tales. But regardless. And that sounds like a jam to you. Maybe check that out. Almost five hour stream of War Tales. Nice. Yeah, it looked like it's probably War Tales. Sometimes Steam... Or Steam. Which is not the best at communicating. Um, we arrive at a peculiar room that contains a swirling vortex of energy. It seems to be what you are looking for. Cool. That's super long for you? Gotcha, gotcha. So, let's touch the campfire. Well, that's weird. Oh, that's the campfire. All right. I don't want to touch the campfire in the sense of resetting it. But I do want to do that. So I have more inventory space again. Let's see. We managed to capture one entity that appeared, but it vanished after a while. Cool. Okay, so it's literally just a smelter. That's fine. And we'll start breaking all this. The base being overrun by unknown entities, two of the scientists who entered the structure have disappeared. I managed to grab some supplies and I found a safe spot to wait for the wait out the situation. I don't think it wound up being that safe of a spot. Okay, so this is more likely where the unknown entities, the dangerous creatures came from, is this temporal whatever it is. Fabricate. Digital wristwatch. Time modifier plus 30. Okay. 
Need Digital Wonder, a modern era, the clock runs faster than it should, as if to demonstrate its prowess. So I can make time go faster. Interesting. Is it possible to replicate this teleportation effect? I don't know. But very clearly, I should run up and I should touch the dangerous thing. Because everyone knows the correct thing when you see like some temporal rift in time is to, you know, run up and mess around with it. You certainly shouldn't leave it alone. Report, doesn't matter, Dr. Cooper, Dr. Fring. The structure is becoming increasingly active as of yet for unknown reasons. It is affecting the flow of time around it and is also causing some lo local spatial anomalies. The digital watch we invented mitigates these effects, so it should allow us to interact with the event horizon. Have it equipped, enter the structure, finish in 140. Can I put it on right now? Okay, that was dangerously close. Oh, I thought we were done. Stop it. Come on, Mari, messing with time isn't that bad. You can just go back to the future, yep. Okay. So, the last time I messed with all that, it wasn't a problem. And to the structure, finish in 140 seconds. Stop running away, I'm on a timer.
stop. Ah, I knew it was when I went for the second hit. Okay, so I do need to kill the stuff around. I was trying to avoid that. I've reached my golden death anniversary. Would you... You know what, get out of here. All right. So that's interesting that it's dropping all the other stuff in the area as well. Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. Oh, that is not fast enough. Okay, well, that was deeply upsetting and not something I would ever deal with again. Like, the worst part was... Oh yeah, that's that's how I feel as well, buddy. Like, all the camera distortion and everything was very unpleasant. Why is everything so fast? I have a wristwatch that makes time move faster. Which I was required to wear to do that. Rift Toolkit. Yep. So I can now use Mono Rifts. Okay, get get this out of here. I don't actually want time to move that fast. It's quite difficult to deal with. Speaking of which... Oh, well... There's a mono rift down there. There, buddy. All right, so I need to get out there. There's a door over here. Door down there. Alright, so I think I go through the riff room and around that way. So not here. Ow. No one likes you, plant.
All right. So we can bandage up. We can mess with the monorift and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. I need mana chunks to open those. Well, look. I get to make a bunch of those things. So I can go here, and I would like... Five mana chunks. And we will fast up time. This way. Oh, we leveled up. Uh... We got something new we can make. Laboratory furniture. Gold bar and... Chitlin. Those are things I don't even know where it came from. I'll go ahead and make this now. 1930s furniture? Sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, it's really just... Those two things are the only things we have left to unlock out of this. Alright. Do we, do we not actually? Oh, weird. We get really slow when we go near that. Did it not actually sleep? Okay. So we got two of them. So let's go look at one of these question marks we've had on the map. Okay, so now they're actually marked in the map. Let's go and hit the first one to see what happens. I feel like it's just going to give me access to that crate up there. So it's effectively a thing that lets me teleport to access new areas. No, that's where I need to go. And I assume once I open these, they're just open. Interesting. Alright, so let's see if we can actually make this one happen. Is that the nearest campfire? Probably. Let's see if we can't make it over there. So tag the campfire to reset it. And we're immediately running left. And over here. Ooh, six seconds off. Ah. Is that that fire might be nearer? Because six seconds is not a little difference. Yeah, this is closer. All right, let's move. Almost ran right off the side there. Okay, that's worth. That was a heck of a lot of steel. Alright, 
right, where do we know of another one? Another one next to a chest over there. We can also see some mod riffs. Can I see mod riffs even in an area I haven't explored, or is it strictly one? It's probably just ones I was near. Yeah. All right, well, so you got a quest up here. That's that's the thing you need to figure out is the quests. Um, so we've got the tablets, which we're just exploring the map. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We've got the Turnover New Leaf at Collingwood. And for the life of me, I cannot remember where Collingwood was. Like, it's not one of the major cities, because I'm not seeing it listed here. And I zoom in a little bit more. Because I vaguely remember being up here somewhere, like up in this area. We don't see. Is it by Underfield? Maybe. Like, that's the thing I don't know, is it doesn't seem to be marked on my map for some reason. Nor are they giving me a marker being like, this is Collingwood. It's not this area. Um, is this the one from the fan? The one from the fan. The van? Um, no, this is, uh, I had to dig through the hay piles. I don't, I don't remember if there's a van involved in any way. So it's not up here. That was way after the fact. Not up there. Pretty sure it's not there. It's like, this is one place. No, I think, I think it's after this. Like, I want it to be... I want it to be in this area. Except this is where I had to dig everywhere. The buried treasure. That's now what I'm looking for. Maybe, maybe it is Underfield. I'm just annoyed it's not marked on the map anywhere that I've been able to see. And it could be that I just don't know where to look, so I'm not seeing it. I really kind of wish there was a search functionality kind of thing. Like, for places I've already found, I mean. Because I've found the place. We picked up a bunch of the hay. We just didn't get the right one. Ah, uh, that's how we're going to get it. We're going to moderate to pass that into this area. Can I run the quest? It's fine. Um, because I got... I call him mana. Approach the entrance to the mountain. Yeah, I'll collapse that one. Yeah, I wish I wish Oh, well, yeah, of course it does that. Um, that's fine, we'll fast travel. Let's see, Gate of Mist and... Yeah, like... Because they have quest objectives for a lot of stuff, so it's kind of weird that these handful they don't. Like, some of them it's because they're probably in, like, the next area. Like, their DLC kind of thing. Like, that's, I think, the Hidden Archipelago. Is the, um, the DLC, I believe. The Gate of Mist might also be the DLC. The New Leaf is not, and the Tablets I don't believe are. That said, if I remember correctly, we have things saying that there was a quest over here. There. Um. New Leaf, oh, I think New Leaf to DLC, really? Okay. That might explain it. 
Um, the last stand is at the city hall. So let's go ahead and go to the city hall. The city hall is um, over here. There. So I just need to cut across Pioneer's Park. Yeah, so City Hall's over there. Alright. I think when the island for a second they came back. Yeah, yeah. Because I went over there and I got worried I was going to do the thing that happened when the last time I did one of the DLC, which is I started the DLC and I just I skipped entire phases of progression on accident. And, like, once I did, I couldn't really, you know, go back. And it's not that it ruined the run, it's just like, oh, I kind of wanted to play through. Sledgehammer? Oh, is that what I'm getting here? So I need a central hall key. Those are blocked. I just exploring to try and find what we're looking for. Let me guess, I'll tell me where the key is. Or it'll just give me a key. The situation is untamable. We need to evacuate people to the crown via the underground passage behind the city hall and destroy the entryway behind us. Okay. Is it just the inevitable conclusion of everything, despite all my best efforts? Black Side G has gone dark. We most likely sort this out. Oh. Well, basically, Black Side G went dark. That's the important bit. You never got the katana? I've just been wrecking people with the wrench. Yeah. So make sure we got everything in here. Now there's one more room we haven't unlocked down there. Oh, that's right, it's over this way. Alright, looks like we found everything in there. Uh, there is a dig location behind the building. Okay. Well, hello there, fella.
All right. And scene. Sledgehammer recipe. Okay. Swap items. Um, you, I guess. What? I don't understand. Oh, okay. It was like swap items. I must have hit something while I was fighting. All right, let's go down here. Because I remember it saying three different boss enemies were back here, and we only killed two. Once the last civilians are through, you are to destroy the supports and collapse the tunnel behind them. Well, let's see what we can do about making the heckin' sledgehammer. Because we've waited our entire lives for this moment. Um, there you are. A lightning rod. A peculiar device able to gather ambient energy and concentrate it into a focal point. Okay. Alright, upgrade. Sledgehammer. Yup. Yup. So I need four more titanium. We are definitely doing that right now. I'm guessing it's going to have like a horrific swing speed. Because it's going to have to be a negative with that. Eh, it doesn't seem that bad. Okay, so how much do I need to... No, I, I don't want to do that. Hang on. Calm down. Honestly, just do it. We probably can't rest yet, but I'm going to try. I can. Nice. Aww. I think you need four. Yeah, probably. Can I break you? Not quite there. Well, while we wait for just a minute for that to process, let's go see if I can break a heckin' car. Oh yeah, get out of here, car. No one wants you. Giant rock? Nope, giant rock's too tough. I don't think the sledge is DLC. It's just something you can easily miss from the looks of it. That screen shake is a bit much.
Um, it also unlocked, like, a Tesla coil looking thing, a lightning thing. Holy the Light Island. Baron Lifeless. Well, at the moment, what I want to do is I want to find more titanium, because I could definitely break more than I could before, which is kind of the whole point. Otherwise, why would I have it? But, um, I need more titanium to break more things. At which point, I'm assuming once the sledgehammer is fully upgraded, I'm guessing almost everything on the island would be destroyable. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Um, smash number bigger. Oh, I didn't mean to go here, but we're here now, so... Just by the way, the furnace going constantly. For the most part, I haven't needed most of the materials that much. Um, the other thing is I don't, I haven't been destroying enough of like lower end materials to get that. It's one of the things I've actually been bad about is properly clearing stuff out. Just being able to finally get rid of cars and all that is so nice. And now plus they're actually giving me like, they're not giving me titanium, they're giving me everything shy of. Alright, so you can destroy that kind of wall. Just hate Kool Aid our way through this place. Oh, this stuns him as well? Okay, that's pretty solid. If you can smash everything, we're probably not best. Oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna full clear the map or something. Like those kind of achievements that are probably gonna be there, like to clear out X number of things or yada yada. I'll do those offline. Um, at the moment, I'm just kind of smashing a bunch of stuff real fast, collecting some materials. Um, see if we can't find new resource or whatever. While I wait to upgrade the sledgehammer, because I imagine once I upgrade the sledgehammer one more time. Pretty much almost everything will be destroyable to me. Uh, the only exception will be the things I need the lightning rod for. Because I've got that one more upgrade from the sledgehammer. we got a couple of stuff that needs upgraded there that we've neglected. And I've got the lightning rod thing that I need to get still. Get that going. I don't care. Let me sleep. Let me fast forward time. Alright. So let's see if we can't locate one of the other, um... One of their temples or tablets or anything. So this, this whole area has potential of having stuff in it. I've also got another large... Oh, we got another quest up here. 
Got a bunch of the temporal things I need the mana chunks for. So we've got the ruins and we've got the tablet for that section. I need to find three more ruins. So let's let's see. I wish I wish I could oh filters. Um let's go ahead. Oh, it's saying I've done eight out of nine. Okay. Shelter loudspeaker I've done since. So somewhere I have a loudspeaker and a thing I haven't done. That I'm assuming it's trying to tell me. Let's let's go ahead. Hide the timed crate. Hide the entryways. Hide this. Hide the fixable. Hide the fishing spot. Hide the buried treasure. Hide the locked door. Hide the fabricator. Hide the obelisks. Hide the radio. Hide the terminal. The link relays we can hide forever. The wishing wells. Um, okay. So where is the white icons on this map? Unless it means it's 8 out of 9 because I haven't seen them. But that, okay. I understand now. So these are all the things to be found in the world, and how many of them I have actually found. Um, so I found all but two entrances. I found barely any of the monoriffs. I found, I fixed half of the bridges. Um, I fished only in a tiny fraction of the fishing spots. I've got about a third of the buried treasure. Um, locked doors, I've got almost all of them. Shelters and... Shelter loudspeakers. I'm missing one somewhere. And that's what we're trying to figure out. There's also the tablets and the ruins. Because I can't go into the temple until I've got the tablets. There's a ruin right there. So that's good. Um. So what would be my best way to get there? Okay. And probably just run that way. Excellent. Perfect. We've got something to work on. Nope, oh, there's a pass trail. I can only imagine if you just want to, like, kind of, you know, you've had a long day at work, you just want to have that, like, brain off at the end of the day. Uh, there. You just, like, brain off at the end of the day, not worry about thinking things through or anything like that, just... Just kind of have a, um... Have a nice relaxing day kind of thing. That this would be perfect once you get the sledgehammer of just... Walking through and breaking one thing after the art. Oh, I assume I gotta listen to these radios I probably am missing. There have been rumors about my well-being, and it is true I haven't shown myself in public for a long time. But rest assured, I am well and capable. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay. And as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Hey, sorry buddies. Vehicle's in the way. So I can't get through that, but that's fine. All right. 
And he'll probably be able to go over here and just... Just, like, set up the turrets, and that, that'll be it. Like, he'll just be sorted. All right. I imagine also when you're like you're full clear of the map kind of thing, that's how you end up finding everything. Because you're just going around purging everything kind of thing. So anywhere you find stuff, you just keep exploring and keep destroying. There's something there too. Alright, so let's do the ruin this way, and then we'll try coming around from the other side. It might be a tablet. I like how I go to hit the rock. It's like, nah, I can't break that. Let me just twist ever so slightly and break the wall instead. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's start adjusting this. This needs to go down one. You need to go... There. Hmm. So if I move this block off of that pad, it closes. So I need it to stay there. I was curious you could just cheese past it. Alright, so that means I just need to bring the other rock around, or the other block around as best I can. Hmm. Okay. So first of all, let's get that laser back in position to open that door here. So what... what Okay. And temple done. So I'm only missing two temples in the whole game. Uh, no, that's may not be right. That might just be the next level of that challenge. Um. I said, it looks like there's something down there. There's a soccer field over here.
trying to see if there's any obvious places for more stuff. Okay, so it's not going to be up there because we already have one in that zone. Do we already have one in this zone? No. Alright, so let's just try, try running around and see if that's the last of the, uh, like, what well, last myth tablet tablets. Because, like I said, I saw something down there. I just need to run around and see if we can't grab it. And they'll drop back and see if I have enough titanium to upgrade the sledgehammer where, like, everything can be destroyed as it was meant to be. Alright, see, so creatures won't stay dead in this zone. Not yet. Okay. So what are you up here? I guess a door? Alright, well... Okay. It's just a rock, right? Yeah, it's just a rock. This is one that I need the boards to do. That's actually one of the things I've got is a bunch of the things with boards I can't, I haven't done yet. There's stuff down there, so let's run down there for a minute. While I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah, because I don't have the boards, because I had to have them on me, not just in general. Alright, nothing really special here. Drop this off real fast. Grab this stuff. Okay. And now you can go see we got the titanium. Upgrade our sledge. All right, well, we might actually end up with enough timber. I don't get why I walk so slow in that room. So, upgrade gear. Sledgehammer is maxed. So, unmark it. Now, I should be able to break just... Hmm. Still stuff that is beyond my ability to break. That is not something I was anticipating. So you do 80 blunt damage. Do I have things that make me do extra damage at all? Huh. So you have extra slashing melee damage, build limit. Is the world random? No, it is. It is not a randomized world. It's really curious. Is 
Is it something like this that I would do? Interesting. It could be the, um, that next recipe we have that maybe it's able to do a tiny bit more damage, but like has a wind up time. So this thing which requires eight more titanium. That said, I could probably break a lot more now. And I'm hoping some of the stuff will give up, um, titanium. To save me the hassle. We'll see if we can't hit, like, a big truck or something. On titanium. Can I turn off that screen shake? Because that screen shake is actually pretty rough. Screen shake, get rid of it. What about a rock in the desert that said it had an enemy under it? Oh, yeah, we can certainly go and destroy that. Alright, so I can't break that yet. So we're, we're like 10, 15 points shy of being able to break a lot of that stuff. What about this reinforced wall that was super durable? I'm assuming at some point, now that I've got this sledgehammer full, I think I can probably find titanium in something. It shouldn't be something super common. No, so it's still not quite there. Much better. Yeah, so we got a bunch of cars and all that. Isn't there a bunch of machinery here somewhere? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of that. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's some like easy way for me to snag some titanium real fast without me having to like wait for it all to process. Because most of the time when I've gotten a new tool. It's just a matter of finding the thing that gives me the resource I had to grind before. There's those giant machines, some of them. Um, I want to say there's some of those in the power plant to the south of us. I fast travel to it. Not this area. Um, Headfield? Alright, Strider. Here's a good thing. Um, so we didn't break these yet. Honestly, after all this time, getting that material out of it's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> oh, I guess they drop a piece of steel. That's not that bad. That. That's what I want to see what gives me. Nothing, because I can't break it. Requires 85. Okay. Alright, so... There's the DLC area. I can't do more of the temple because I'm missing the temple fragments. Um, I don't know how to get this region. My guess is it's this. Here is how we get there. There's a quest at the Solaris train station. Hey, I'll go. So not a whole lot. We've been just um, messing around with this. We just finished the main story. And then I, uh, I got the sledgehammer. So, you know, a lot of stuff is getting broken. As you do.
There's lots of pill possibilities for like this stuff to be over here. Yeah, we're clearly there because we dug stuff up. That might be it right there. That might be the last one. All right, so back to the West Point area. We might have our last, uh, the last of our underground barrack things. Oh, did I already upgrade you? I upgraded you, right? Yeah, you're upgraded. I can't quite get to those walls. Which, again, actually does surprise me that I can't get through those walls. Um, unless, like I said, that lightning bolt thing, unless that does even more damage. Can I break you? No, really. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, those might just be silos. Um, we can check the pipe again. I thought I checked it a moment ago. Yeah, well, that's a bummer. This from above looked like it might have been one of the, um... Well, oh, you got that there. How do I get to you? That's a ramp. All right. So I've got another, actually, I think that's... The glass I need, there's a well. I can find a deer, that'd be good. Well, that's fine. They said it looked like there was a ramp down over here. Do I have to have the monotrunks on me? I do not. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, so this should be right up here somewhere. Another ruin for us to solve. And there's a fire right next to it, which is nice. Oh. I thought I was going to be able to go on that. All right. I'm wondering if, like, when I find all these things, or, like, one of the other, like, one will reveal the other kind of thing. Okay, so we have... a whole lot of stuff. There we go. So that's the first one down. That wasn't so bad.
Okay. Alright, so that turned off the first set. Second set is off. That turns both those back on. That turned those back on. And done. Okay. So we got that one knocked out. I mean, I guess we can run around while we're up here. So we were definitely over there. We can check out all of this. So we, we clearly went along that side. Okay. Alright, that was not smooth at all, but that's fine. We're getting pretty late in the game, so we're able to get away with a lot of stuff. Alright. No, I can't quite get to that wall yet. Played the tape for Machine 4. Those old ladies at Central have been gossiping over the phone nonstop. There's a lot of transcripts about people's phone call between random people on this wall. Okay. Surprised it's telling us it's that cold up here. Oh, we're wearing our summer wear. That's fine. I'm running around just hoping we can find anything meaningful. We've clearly not been up here before. Because we only recently got the ability to teleport. So we went that way. We can also run to the left and then down. Actually, can we go down? 
Not really. It looks like it, um... No, actually, it does look like it can go to the right, to the left and down. Ooh, almost ran right off the side there. Yeah, so the whole area can run around up here. Let's get the shovel in place here for now. <laughs> Got another place you can teleport at. Deal with that in a minute. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything else kind of important up here. Because these are the kind of places that's really good to hide lots of stuff. Please dig. Thank you. Alright, we can run up here. Drop all of that off. Grab you and the titanium. Um, grab all you. Okay. All right, so can't go any further that way. But yeah, it's interesting how much exploration you have on this map. I am curious if when we hit this, it's going to teleport me up or down. Because down to me isn't as useful. But that's where it would. That's fine. Um, we got our mana rift up there. Oh, I can't get across that. Interesting. So I actually can't get to this area at all. Because that bridge is out, and there's a pipeline there, but I don't think that's going to be what we need. So I either need a mana rift that I can take over on this side, or... What are you? You're something. Let's go check out what you are. All right. Okay. It looks like some sort of cargo drone. Wonder what it's transporting. Junk and junk. Everyone's favorite. Okay. Let's so run over here real fast. We gotta check this thing out. Alright, I mean, I wasn't expecting Burning Man, but, like... Sure? Just <laughs> mark that for in the future. All 
Alright, so I revealed all the map down here. Um... I don't imagine there's a way I can circumvent this real fast to get to the other side, right? This is gonna be oh, I can just walk in the pipe. Never mind. I was expecting to have to, like, do some big elaborate thing, not just walk across it. So my hope is that last zone that we haven't discovered They'll be able to like just board a um a boat or something that'll be able to take us between there or some. Oh, that is straight up terrible. Have the timer chest on the end of a winding path with no rails and water. Yep. That's how you die. I mean, you gotta go, like, at speed around those corners without messing up and falling in. Where's the ocean, Spectre? I mean, in that case, you're not supposed to be walking on those pipes. Hmm. If I throw that... Excellent explosives. Thank you for making the more dangerous thing not as bad. I'm taking this to an ocean rep. This game is not safe. Hey, Tully Valkun, how's it going? Yeah. Did I mention it feels really satisfying to one-tap these guys? Not safe for work game. I mean, you're not wrong. Thank you, El Gosso, for gifting a sub to Totally Valcon. Thank you, El Gosso, for gifting that tier one sub to Totally Valcon. Totally Valcon, you have yourself nice advertisement free viewing as well as access to the emotes. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for that support. Uh, continued support, El Gosso, and uh. Hope you enjoyed the advertisement reviewing as well as access to emotes, Soli Valkun. There are lots of places to fish here. I really don't care about the fishing. What I really want to do is figure out how to get to the next area that I haven't been able to get to. Can I break that? I mean, I can break the jeeps on top. That's our boat right there, right? That's a right out of here? Hmm. Oh, we're gonna explode a bus. We're gonna explode a bus, chat. Get that bus out of here.
So on the downside, we basically explored this island. And I was kind of expecting this to be the route to this area, because there's no bridge. And to me, that's a set of docks. So, not entirely sure on that one. Let's go ahead and teleport back. Checking our titanium and all that. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Alright, so let's upgrade some things. Actually, first, let's see if I can't make whatever the lightning rod thing is. I can. Lightning rod, give. Where's the quest pointing you? Let's see. A peculiar device able to emit ambient energy to concentrate on a single focal point. Stun enemies. It's a trinket. Okay. I was not expecting that to be a trinket. Alright, upgrade gear. Uh, bandolier. Dentures. Where's the quest pointing you? So, I have... Like, I need to find the tablets, but they don't tell me where the tablets are. Um, and I believe the Call of Mana and the Archipelago are DLC. So, if I collapse those two... Then I have, that's also DLC. So it's those myth of tablets that are preventing me from being able to go into the temple down here, down here. But um, I gotta figure out where they are. Like other than just pulling up a map and navigating that way or literally exploring the entire map, which, I, which I'm not gonna do that on stream because Holy crap, that'd be incredibly tedious to watch. Was I... I'm trying to look to see if there's one more of the bunkers in this area. There's, interestingly enough, clearly a wall up there. Probably something in this pocket up here as well. Stuff back here, like there's a bonfire, that's a well. I do I do like that if you're watchful on the map, you'd be like, oh, that's where that is. Um but now we're kinda like combing over everything, being like, alright, where's the thing? You got this ridiculous defense up here, but nothing behind it that you can see. And they're like barricaded up road, another defended road. Clearly another bonfire or a campfire or whatever. Stack of something back there. The one downside I've noticed, though, about that whole whole deal is, um, like, stuff like those buses, when I remove them, the map still shows that they're there. So I couldn't, like, use the map and be like, okay, where have I actually cleared stuff, like, debris out of here? I'm assuming some of these I'm going to have to get to by teleporting to them. using the mana thing. Yeah, there's another campfire over there that we missed. Campfire there that we missed. It wouldn't be so bad, like, there's just 
I didn't do that one. There's one like right there. Like super obviously right there. And we didn't do that one. Wait, didn't we just like literally just do that one? Why is it not marked? Um, okay, so where do I go to get that? Way up there. Okay, so we have one we could definitely do right up there. Um, I do need to switch my equipment to cold. Actually, you're going to do a campfire. We're going to switch out this kit. Need the heat thing. I don't remember where that's going to take me. Okay, yeah, we're right over here. So we can run up this way real fast. Fast travel to the next area. Up here. And do our Link Tower stuff. Alright, so we want to get down there, but first of all, I need to get off this ice because we'll quickly start freezing to death, as you probably noticed. Why, why am I not warming up? Cold protection. Cold protection. Cold protection. Well, I guess we just run to the next. Uh, wait, is it going? Is it going now? Nope. It seems if I stop moving, I start getting cold again. Nope. Or I'm just taking damage gradually. It's fine. We'll go touch the campfire. I mean, we are at the Arctic base. Um, we do have a monorift here. Oh, I can't reach that. It's up top. It's fine. We're just slowly dying of hypothermia. It's not a big deal. Okay, before we run around wildly, so that's what we're trying to reach. It's up on this ledge. Um, there's the broken mast. Okay, so just gotta go to broken mast, like I go north. I'm surprised it's not done. Like, because very clearly I saw it. And I can't imagine I was like, no, I'm going to do this later with something like that. They're so hard to find. All right, let's get down in here before I freeze to death. All right. Oh. Okay. I hate this place. Do you count as this? Hey, si stand that.
This is kind of interesting. Deliberately using them to set off traps and all that. Okay, I see. Okay, it looks like he steps on that, and the bottom one stops firing, and the middle one starts. <sighs> too soon. One, one second too soon. So does the wall stay open here? No, it does not. Alright, well, I'm going to work on this side. I'm going to top off her health. Oh good, I evaded it. Interesting dungeon. Okay. All right, so we did fourteen of them. Is that the actually all of them, or is that like pretend all of them? Let's see real fast. Map filters. Where are the ruins? Tomb. No, it's not. I still have like seven left on the map. I'm trying to find the tablets more than anything. The downside is the tablets are very impossible to see on the mini-map. Like, this is a place a tablet might be. Let's go check that out, if at all possible. Aha! We didn't catch it, I did. I used the rock to make the fall not as far. Okay. So that's not where I want to go. I want to go down here. Alright, I do think we're probably pretty close to teched out. I also haven't seen... That's not what I want to do. It's what I did, but it's not what I want.
All right. Um. Well, we could start approaching the DLC. Because I'm willing to bet we'll unlock, like, technology that lets us do more ridiculous stuff. Because anytime you have... Yeah, we'll just teleport back. Anytime you have, like, additional content to a game, it's almost always going to be additive in what it does. So I would not all be surprised if we went there and found a bunch of new material. Because I'm kind of just jamming with this. Like, I know, I know I should be switching up games here pretty soon, but, like... Because normally I would have switched almost three hours ago. I... Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, we're going to do a poll. We're going to do a poll that way we can figure it out based on this. So, what are we doing? More dismantle. Product Zomboid RP, which is on Undead Baron server, or my time at Porsche. We're going to go ahead and put that poll up. So we do have a poll up uh, about what you'd like me to do on the stream. Because um, I am kind of waffling here, and I'm not going to decide. So I'm just going to be like back and forth the whole way. And if that's the case, I might as well just put up to a poll. And let the poll dictate. Where was I going? I was going someplace. Um, which, for the record, the product Zomboid um, RP, that is an Undead Baron server, uh, where we play as a bartender. So if you're expecting any ridiculous over-the-top shenanigans and like PvP and all that kind of stuff, you're probably going to be disappointed as a forewarning. Uh, that's just not the character I'm playing. Um, I tend to bar. That's what I do. Um, it also depends, like, I don't know who's on the server right now, so it could be that, like, we got 20, 30 people on, it'll be an absolute, you know, shenanigans. It could also be that there'll be, like, four people. He's the bartender. He will end every bar. Bart. I see what you did there. I can, I can add syllables and letters. Um, for my time at Porsche, we just started a run yesterday. I might have a pretty good time with it. Uh, Dismantle, we're kind of getting to the point where... That's right, I was going to fast travel down here. Because this is where the DLC place is. Uh, Baron's probably getting on soon, I imagine. Um, Baron's been playing a lot of Redfall lately. Um, which that's like not negative at all. Hello, oh, Han. I'm looking for handsome. First initials, I am. Aww. Does it? Does anyone know where I can find an I am handsome? I am handsome. I just cannot find an I am handsome. I was <laughs> like, I'm right here. Way to have that good confidence. Not even as a meme. It's always good to have good concept. Horrible game, but I still watch him. Yeah, honestly, watching it, like, don't get me wrong, I don't... I think people are being a lot more... A lot more... What's the word? Critical is not the word I want to be, because it's not very critical. Oh, I want to go over there. Um, I feel like people... Not unfair. I mean, it is unfair. Basically, is it a game that I'm like, ah, that's amazing... No, like looking, I'm like, eh, it's fine. Like I don't, I don't own it, so I can't speak from personal experience. But looking, I'm like, yeah, it looks fine. It's neither here nor there. But um, like where it's getting absolutely the worst ratings and all that, and, like people screaming up and down. Like, okay, look, it's a bit of the disappointing side. But not exactly the worst. Yeah, Redfall. Well, the, the thing they're talking about is it's apparently got some very serious performance issues. Um, and that's been like every AAA release lately has been having performance issues. Very specifically when you have a good GPU and a crap processor. by I shouldn't say a crap. 
you have a lower end processor and a higher end GPU, almost all the AAA releases that have been coming out lately run like absolute garbage. It's been a real problem. So it does have problems. Like I'm not saying it's an S tier game or an A tier game or anything like that. Like I'd I'd put it like in a C. Like, could it be better? Yes. Is it terrible? Uh not I mean if you're getting hit with a performance though, I understand being upset. But like where people are acting like it's the worst game that has ever dropped, I'm like, okay, that might be a little over dramatic. But I mean that's the same kind of stuff we got when like Fallout 76 dropped and No Man's Sky dropped and all those. Um like and don't get me wrong, Fallout 76 had its 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 baggage. But um you watch a donkey video on it? I don't think he's anything he d I don't think he had anything nice to say about it. Yeah. Seventy dollars? Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong, the price. I'm not like I said, I'm talking it's a C tier game. We're not we're not even getting into is it worth the territory. That is that is a whole different animal. Um I would not play seven I would not pay seventy dollars. For the record, I don't I wouldn't pay seventy dollars for Dead Island 2 either. Like I like and that's let's pretend I didn't have all the crashes and all that. Like it just worked. I still would not say I'd still very much be like, yeah, seventy dollars. So we had a tie between Dismantle and Product Zomboid RP. And I do know that people do love to make the tie. Right. Yeah, like when it talks about like the value and all that, that's that's a whole different discussion to be had. Is there a relay point nearby that I can stop the respawns? No. That's actually a decent sized map. Um, so we have a tie. Well, it says Del Sol put in the most points. What were you gunning for, Del Sol? Just as a question. Dice roll. There, my late tiebreaker vote. Well, you didn't vote. You gotta vote in the poll. That's how polls work. Dice. See, the thing though is, when it comes to switching games or not switching games, not switching games is easier. Thirty dollars your limit on the game. If I had to spend more. I better get a thousand hours. Um, yeah. How many other game? I feel like continuing this mantle. Keep playing it right now. Uh, you can add the. T yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm I'm kind of going back and forth because there's um been a number of people looking to join me, on, the uh product zomboid roleplay, like. Um, Kraisk has been joining me a whole bunch. And so, like, part of it is I'm being self-conscious by the fact that I... Like, it's pretty much almost only to Kraisk that I was like, yeah, I probably will be on tonight. Well, that's just mean, putting an enemy in the bush. Um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be on Sunday. And I'm like, ah, but... And I also know if I want to, um... If I actually want like people to frequent the bar, I have to be on the bar at least like every every couple days. Um, which is actually one of my fears of getting into the RP as well. It's one of the things kind of keeping me from doing, not from doing it, but I'm being very timid about really going for it more. Because that's just the nature of RP. If people can't count on, like count on the place you being, they won't go there. It's one of the things we ran into all the time with the GTRP I used to play on TSRP server. Um, if your business was inconsistent on what hours it was open, people would never go to your business. Because it's kind of just like a downer in RP where you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go to this place and get food, and like, you like kind of get yourself ready for the RP, and then there's no one there, and you're just like, oh, never mind, I guess. 
We felt like so many of our games with terrible releases was overhyped for what we got, and the game's not horrible, but not as good as people were expecting from Arcane. Yeah, I agree to that. That that 100% absolutely agree. Um, but I'm definitely one of those people who doesn't let myself get overhyped most of the time. There's been indie titles. Like, I am very hyped for Coral Island. Like, I've I've enjoyed the updates I've played of it so far. Um, and it leaves me wanting more. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should. Like, that's that's a thing. I'm enjoying this. And I enjoy the RP. It's probably, like, it's honestly, like, the switching gears is more the thing than which of the two games I'm playing. But it's probably also good that I don't just go hard on one game. Yeah, so I think we'll be we'll be switching over. That's what we'll do. We're going to switch over. Because, um, I mean, like, I, I finished the main thing of the game. So, like, right now what I got in Dismantle is we beat the game. Like, we beat the main story of the game. I launched, like, I escaped, um, and we got all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're missing story down here at the temple that I gotta do stuff on here, and I think that's still the original game. I don't actually know which one's the DLC and which ones aren't. Um, we just went to the island. Actually, before I forget, let's walk through that. Just that way, when I come back, I know I was over here. Um, so this is one of the DLC areas, um, and then I need to go underground to another DLC area as well. And those will be the DLC. I don't know if I am going to do the DLC on stream or not. It might be one of the things that I do is like for just kind of like my downtime. Is I might just start trashing the island. Uh, grinding out the things, finding the stuff. Because a lot of this is going to be, be just like... One, I mean, not here. But like just wandering around the island looking for all the things. Um, so I don't think that'll be good stream content.